new warriors welcome my apologies for being a little bit tardy there uh i had to i had to install the new drivers for nvidia and whenever i install the new drivers for the updates it always scoots around with my obs and i had to set up all these things again so my apologies i'm usually here before 7 30 because i like to be you know punctual <laughs> so again my apologies for keeping you waiting for here i also have to go outside and grab some detergent and some snacks but we're here and we're going to we're gonna kick it for a while do some solo stuff until uh, Tahirin comes around. When Tahirin comes around, I think they have something to show me. But, I have a question. So, yesterday, right? Yesterday, I literally did the weekly mission with my team. And I didn't get the completion. And I was playing on Legendary. Well, I thought I did. Because if I go to, let's say... I go to Neptune. And I go to uh, the Weekly. I choose Legend. Right? And then I go to Find. And I create a listing. Or, yeah, let, let's say I create a listing. I put it on Legend. And for some reason, it didn't count. So am I doing something wrong? Am I supposed to do this solo? Like, I'll look for it. I'll look for a legendary one. No listings. But nobody's probably doing it. But it was so weird because I, I did it... I did it twice now. I did it before the reset and on the reset day. And I still didn't get anything counted. It was really weird. I was like, why is this not working? Because I go to I go to campaign, I go to Lightfall, then I go to weekly and legend. Right? I do all these things. And then listing title, I you know, calling all guardians, uh earn the title or earn a triumph. Variance, emoji. I did all these things. Right? And so does okay, so my question is for this for this LFG thing, right? When I put legend, does it automatically Does it automatically put me into legend? And if you're down right now before if you're down before um <clears throat> Or to hear and drops in grams. Do you want to do it really quickly? Also, Javi, if you're here, do you want to do it with us? Since so this will actually count towards your progress on your your guardian rank, if you want to do it, have. I have to choose it. That's so that's so weird because I, I swear I chose it. Uh, do you want to? Did you want to run the weekly mission with us? It's basically. So what it is, is it's a weekly mission that counts towards your your Guardian rank. So for example, if you go to your Journey section, right? Once you hit Guardian rank 7, one of the missions that it's asking you to do is to do some weeklies. And so this counts towards getting to rank 8. So if you want to do it now, I can help you get at least one for the week. And then you only have to do two more. And it's legendary, so that means we can do it together. But one of the other things you had to do is uh you have to do this you have to do a legendary campaign oh wait do you have the lightfall campaign they'll have yo i don't know how you doing yeah i'd like to get to at least rank nine or ten before final shape that is my goal i'd be happy with at least rank nine 
But if I can get to 10, I'd be happy. But rank 9 is something I'm aiming for if I can. But you have you have Lightfall though, right, Have? Because if you if you do have it, I think we can. And then worse, I think if we I think if you don't have it, you can't, right? I'll invite you both. Let's go, let's go into uh, actually. For this, I don't think we need VC. This is really just uh, a quick run through. But if you want to go, if you want to go on VC, let me know. You don't have Lightfall. Hmm. Damn. Um. Let, let, let's test something. Come on for now. Join the team, and I want to see if this actually works. Okay, so yeah, it does It does say that you require a Lightfall then. Okay. So in that case, we can't do this. Uh, okay, so yeah, you'd have to have Lightfall then to do this one. Makes sense. Alright. Um... Uh, Okay, so... How about... If... After after I'm done running this half... Let's, let's all run... Maybe, uh... We can do, perhaps... Another Onslaught run, if you want to do that. Since Onslaught works for you, right? Okay, cool. So then after that... After that, we can run perhaps an Onslaught again, if you don't, if that's cool with you. And then... Uh, once Tihirin comes on, I'll see if Tihirin is down for what they wanted to show me. That should be alright. So th is that cool? All right, awesome. Yeah, I'll give you a shout then. But if you know if you're doing something right now, like you're AFK or whatever, then by all means you can chill out. But this this is this is definitely something that you you'd you, uh, you'd have to get if you wanted to rank up, because rank rank eight and above is uh, rank eight and above is basically where you want to get your guardian rank. Because right now I'm at rank 7. We must stop from reaching the uh, what do the ranks do? The That's a good question. So as far as like ranks... Basically what it does is uh, the higher you're ranking... You can unlock... You can unlock more slots for your loadouts. So let's say you wanted to have... You know, I don't know... More than 8 or whatever. You get more loadouts. Uh, I think you get access to a few more extra things. I can't remember all the perks. Oh man, that's not the right way. <laughs> Got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of I saw that right away, actually. That was one of the things that I, I saw. Yeah, that's going to be really great. So starting next week, they're going to be updating the... Updating the amount of things you can receive now, the rewards, which is fantastic. More incentive now to actually run Legend Onslaught. And just, just regular Onslaught too. Okay, so up to rank 6 you unlock stuff. 7 to 11 is just a flex. Okay, that makes a lot more sense then. I thought there was more incentive, to be honest. To get to like, uh, like 8 or 7 or higher. Since you wanted to unlock, let's say the, if you wanted to unlock, let's say the um, extra slots for your character, because the, the extra slots begin at rank eight, right? The waves forty to fifty will give extra weapons regularly. Yep, 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 yep. That's that's definitely what was announced uh, via the tweet. I did post it in Discord for those of you who wanted to read it in full detail. 
But that's definitely one of the, uh, is it this way? Wait, which way is it? Oh, this way. <laughs> My bad, Gramps. <laughs> I'll get to you, don't worry, Gramps. <laughs> I just saw you explode. I'm surprised he's not even dead, to be honest. Because basically on, on rank 6, on Guardian rank 6, I have... I have the... I have like a good portion of my slots unlocked. But then for 7 and onward, there are 4 more slots that are still locked. So I thought that once you get to rank 8, you can unlock this, the, the remaining 4. So 7, seven forwards you... 7 forwards, you need to have the expansion stuff. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Oops. Let's do this. I think you're right. Yeah, because I, I thought I thought that like rank A gave you the uh, the additional the additional slots. Because I only have the I'll show you in a moment. But I only have I only have let's say the um, the four or the battles on six or seven. I think six does give you some, but it doesn't give you all of them. So that was the only thing I was concerned with. How are you not dead on that? Hey, let me show you real fast. So for example here, it still gives me four four um four loadout slots that are still on that they're still locked, but it says complete guardian rank objective to get it. So I was like, hmm, do I have to get to rank eight for those? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, Gramps. No problem. <laughs> it's no big deal. These guys are surprisingly tanky for whatever they do. It's no biggie. I'm sure 7 gives you all 10. Because I don't have it. Because I'm on rank 7 right now. Cause that, that's what I thought too, Andrew. I thought I thought rank seven gave me all of them, and so I was like, "All right, well, I have no reason to go to eight at least for a while." But then I saw that I still had four unlocked, or four locked rather. So I was like, "Oh well, I guess that's not gonna happen." Uh, I'd show you, I'd show you right now, but I'm probably gonna get wiped here if I'm not careful. I gotta be. I gotta be a bit careful here. Have I done a thing in the tower? Yeah, I did all those things. Last time I checked. Because there was, there was like, the tree hasn't lit up since I got to rank 7. Because once I hit rank 7, I, I I did all the things I had to do, and then I was like, alright, well, that's cool. And then I, I thought I would receive all the remaining, all the remaining loadout slots, and I didn't get anything. So I was like, alright, well, <laughs> I guess next time? <laughs> Those are actually wild.
Because, yeah, when, once you activate the tree, it, it just gets you to Guardian rank 7, and that was, that was the last thing I did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, where was this thing again? Was it up here? There's one enemy I think we had to beat still. I haven't done this in so long. I keep forgetting uh, the enemy I have to, to beat. Is it here? Probably this guy. I should unlock the bottom part. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. Tormentor first, then unlocks. Okay. Tormentor first. My special, my special ammo brick. But yeah, some kind of confirmation would be nice, though. Otherwise, like once I get to rank eight, I might just stop. Because if there's no reason for me to go above that, other than the flex, then it's like, well, flex is nice and everything. But... I mean, I still want to get above. To be honest, it just feels nice to had the experience on my on my uh on my account it's like hey i got to rank nine There you go, finally. There you go. It's one of two. <laughs> Anti air guns are neutralized. My forces are rallying, but it will take some time. You're All right, where are you going now? Yeah. Every moment wasted brings us that much closer to calamity. So, I keep forgetting where to go in this day. <laughs> Gramps is just fast forwarding beyond. <laughs> and this week is like the worst week too, because this is the uh, callous week too, of all the weeks to do the, the weekly mission. Flipping callous. But then again, I cheesed them before. I just need to. But you know what? I probably bought the wrong weapon then. I should have brought my actual loadout to beat them. Because I can't change since it's legendary. I have to just play it. Should have brought Dragon's Breath like I did before. It's fine. We can try and find a find a way to win. It may take longer than usual, but I think we'll be okay. How's the music how's the music to my voice by the way i have to always sync the the 
game volume and the music volume. Hopefully both are in sync. It's good? Okay, cool, cool. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. You know what, this is actually going to add more challenge. I'll challenge myself to see if I can beat this Bozo Callus with whatever I have. I think it should still be okay. I did play more close range though. Any onslaught today? I'll likely do it later on, yeah. Just not now though. Right now I'm still waiting on Tahirin to come home. Because uh, Tahirin... Tahirin has uh, one thing to show me. And then once once Tahirin shows me, then uh, we should be alright. Or worst case, I can always do it tomorrow. It's not a big... I was going to say, not a big deal. Because tomorrow is usually the day where I do a lot more of my get-togethers with everybody. Like, I always usually do... Um, I usually do things like the community stuff. Oof, okay, I'm going to have to... Okay, I'll, I'll get to you. I'll get to you, I'll get to you. There's so many things around me. Oh, okay, never mind. Ganks came back. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the high ground. <laughs> the high ground is in... For Whisper? Oh, the Whisper one I already have. So I already had the Whisper stuff done. I got the Oracle 3 and 4. So that that to me is totally fine. Uh, I might just like solo... Like solo Onslaught or... Not Onslaught, sorry. Solo, um... I want to try and maybe solo run practice Spire. And see if we can try and get it. Or just maybe do solo PvP stuff. And then save all the... Well, again, we'll see, we'll see. Right now, my, my mode is just, let me get this light bulb thing done, and then after that, I'll decide. Oh, what the? But you know, I, I mean, honestly, doing more Onslaught isn't a bad thing. I know Blick wanted- <laughs> God, no way. I know Blick wanted to do it, so. I may, I may just do it anyway. You I may just run on spot. Ally yourself with a gutless traitor worshiping a false god. We are cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the seas. If you've any shred of honor left, then at least give us the pleasure. That's if Blick shows up though. I don't I don't know if Blick's gonna show up today. But if Blick if Blick shows up, then we're gonna do uh, do legend. There's just so much on my brain to do that I'm just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's how you know a game is just fun to play. There's just so much things to do. Gosh, no. I'm out of there.
Well, that tank is there. Okay, I better go to the tank. Uh, I searched a bit here. <clears throat> Apparently, the last four loadouts are behind a legend lock sector objective. It used to be in rank 7, but... Uh, when it was moved to rank 9, they didn't change the requirement for the loadouts. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. So therefore, I had to get to rank 9 to do that then? Is what you're saying? For the objective? It's our day to die. We shall be immortalized in legend together. Where are you guys? Eat this. How did he get me there? How did he detonate from what the Yeah, rank eight the rank eight stuff I've done mostly, yeah. So it wouldn't take me that long to get to rank nine. But it's just Definitely a half What? Alright. He slugged me big time. Yeah, I'm backing away. I'm getting like one shotted by these things. Just back away a little bit. We're just not playing in front of this guy. I don't know. Out of all the enemies in this game, I feel like these light ball enemies are like they seem for, for some reason strong, more stronger than they should be. Like more tankier. All sorts of stuff. There's so much frame rate dropping in this area too. Well, I guess luckily, luckily there's always a dim where I can just make multiple loadouts on the dim app or whatever, but it would, just, it would be nice to have something in game. I'm taking the high ground, by the way. I'm not risking my life again for this. There they are. We're out of juice. No more defense relay. Prepare for the last stamp. I don't know why this part takes like so long to load up. <laughs> we got a tormentor, the, dr the dread enemy. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't go downstairs. Yeah, I should probably stay upstairs and just play my game. I'm gonna go downstairs when I get destroyed.
Holy moly. Yeah, you know what I realized? I think what I was doing yesterday was not legendary. But I swear I chose it. And I may have I may have mistakenly not <laughs> chosen it. Hence, hence probably why I didn't get a chance to do my weeklies. But I should be at 2 out of 3 right now. And I'm still 0 out of 3, which means I probably did it wrong. Finish it off this guy. Let me get a tormentor. Special bricks on the floor? Probably not. Didn't see any. Get grams if I can. Let's see. Fifteen seconds. Okay. I might be able to grab you, but there you go. All right. I'm taking advantage of this. I'm going in. I'm using the game mode. <laughs> I'm using the game mechanics now. I might as well. Okay, never mind. I'm out. Alright, there you go. We need a more defensible position. This way, Guardian. We'll safeguard the vault together. <laughs> I haven't been played Strand forever. <laughs> but it does feel good to be to be uh, Spider-Man again. Wait, I think things are going to explode. I have to hide. This is where things go kaboom very soon. Nice, I think that's probably it. Door to Man. Alice, what is It's been so long. are you okay? The veil's exposed. Keep them away from it at all costs. Leave the Emperor to me. You must 
must reach the veil before the shadow leaves. Oh, by the way, Jay, if you're still here, did you check out the update that uh, that the Destiny team dropped? Modern mentioned it earlier too, but new updates for Onslaught are coming next week, which will be nice. About time. I would have loved if they did it earlier, though, to be honest. It would have been nice if they did it like today or tomorrow, but. <laughs> they talk so much that they don't even give you the, the option, right? They speak for like. They speak forever. Just give us the option to unseal it. <laughs> Listen to like a five minute spiel. It was left, right? The yeah, there it is. It's massive. I feel a little strange. Don't know how to describe it. It almost gives me uh, the same feeling as. Oh, yeah. The yeah, there <laughs> See, even I forget. <laughs> Let's press on. Even I forget. Welcome to one of the most annoying boss battles in the entire game, by the way. Yo, Tahirin, welcome home. Welcome home. I... <laughs> I guess you tried to speak really fast and you couldn't speak. I'm booting up Destiny right now. Okay, sick. So after this time... After this, I'll... Um, I'll get you in. You can show me with the, the thing as promised. Maybe tomorrow we can do maybe uh for the community day. Cause have you haven't you haven't done a dungeon, so maybe maybe tomorrow we can try another dungeon run or something. Try and get you through a dungeon. Get you experiencing it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I can imagine, yeah. You're just tapping something and it's just like I, <laughs> I just stop. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be the biggest challenge for me because I don't have Dragon's Breath. Usually I destroy it with Dragon's Breath, but... All right, let's make it happen. We do Ghosts. Ghosts of the Deep? I don't know if Javi, I don't know if... Because Javi doesn't have much of the uh, expansion, so I don't know if Ghosts is part of that. I keep forgetting which ones are part of the free the free to try portion. So usually I would cheese I would cheese this boss so hard. Usually with Dragon's Breath right here, I would just I would destroy him. But I don't have it unfortunately, so I have to play super safe. Only if ruins prophecies. I guess we can probably get Javi to try prophecy out. If that's cool with you, uh, Javi. If you're still around, by the way. Why is this so much harder than before? I got about 18 seconds left, Gramps. All right. I'm gonna try and cheese him again.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. I gotta play it safe here. Nisal Graham's coming back up. If I can. How much time do you have left there, Grams? That was not good. Maybe BC. Yeah, let, let's hop on BC real quick. Actually, let me let me change this loadout. Let me reset. So I, I made a mistake. Actually, I forgot that I had to reset my. Um... Hold on. Yeah, let, let me reset, Gramps. <laughs> let's reset. Okay. How you doing, brother? Just fine, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, sorry about Hope that. Same. Hmm? Hope you're doing the same. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm definitely feeling good. That's for sure. I'm definitely feeling good. I just need to maybe... If, if you don't mind, do you want to start from the beginning again? Because I want to change up my loadout real fast. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you should uh, get uh, Tihiran to join us. Oh, yeah. You know what? Tihiran, since you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tihiran. Just hop in now then. That'll actually maintain the promise that I had. Mm -hmm. That way, along the way, you can show us what you're trying to show us. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to break the promise that I had. Like, I know I can do this. This is, this is like a mission I can easily do. I did it solo, so I know I can definitely do it. It's just my loadout was not the best. I just de I defaulted to my... <laughs> I just logged in and thought, oh yeah, I just kept the same one from before, but I didn't. I'm not on my preferred class either. That's true. I'm You're surprised you didn't comment on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was just like, you know what? You're doing a good job, so I had nothing to say. You're doing an excellent job there, holding it down. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. It uh, is really hard. Yeah, it, it's probably one of the more annoying missions to do, uh, whether you're on solo or just anything else. Hold on, let's let me pop you into the GM stuff so we can all talk together. Yeah. All right. So yeah, here and whenever you're here, Tiran, I don't know if you're if you're in the VC, but hop in the VC and then. We I'm can just do this. gonna pop out in the kitchen and get some water. Yeah, sure. Uh, here we go. Yo, Tahirin! Hello, hello. BPG, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you, pleasure. How are, how are things? Ah, uh, things are going well. You know, I've had a good day at work. I'm enjoying my evening. Very nice. Very nice to hear. I love that. That's the best attitude to have. I agree with that. Oh, yeah, indeed. Any, every day is a good day when you have a good mindset. So right now, uh, let me just invite you real fast before I forget. So I guess work wasn't like too, too busy? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a pretty chill day. We're, uh, we're working on a shower remodel right now. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. I'm, I'm assuming you're doing interior design, right? Uh, yeah, just construction, remodel, most mostly interior stuff. We do do some decks, though. Hmm. Nice. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Interesting. So is that like your your main line of career? Like that's the path you wanted to take? 
Um, I guess uh, something in the construction field, probably. I went to school to be an electrician, but uh, haven't really pursued that much since. Hmm. Okay, you know what? As long as it brings you the joy that you that you deserve, that's what matters most, you know? Right. <laughs> PPG, I need some of that good mindset. Well, you've come to the right stream. You know that. There's not there's not one time where I, I give up any bad vibes, and if it is, if that does happen, I usually just mute myself and I walk away, but most of the time I'm always in good spirits because I make sure to routine myself every day. I wake up. I, I say this most of the time too. I wake up, I do my stretches, I clean my room, I pray, and then I just have a little bit of like a snack, and then I'm good. As long as I just speak positivity into my life every day, I feel good. That's the most important thing, is just speaking good words to yourself. That's perhaps the best thing you can do. You don't have to stretch and know all the things I do, but the most part, if you can just speak good things into your life, that should be the best thing. You hear him? Can I ask you to turn on Push to Talk, please, in the game? Ah, oh, sure. Oh, is the echoing thing happening? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I guess yeah, after I we... About that. That's okay, it's okay, Kate. Okay. No, no worries. So I guess after this, uh, Tahirin, do you want to show... Do you want to show us beforehand, or do you want to show us after you win this legend? Does not matter to me at all. Okay, let's get this legend done quickly. We'll burn through it, and then once we're done, you can show me. And... Yeah, we should be good to go. I'm good. And I'm on your class today, Tyrion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Punchy Titans. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Even oh, Gramps no. is surprised oh, I didn't I judge him. <laughs> Usually I have something to say, but <laughs> I, was, I didn't even realize, to be honest. I was literally so focused, I didn't realize you were playing Strand Titan until oh, yeah. so maybe the last minute. Right. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> like I said, it is a hard mission. It is, it is. Stop Callus from reaching the veil and establishing a... And so what are you going to say there, Tahir? I think you're going to say something and then uh, I kind of interrupted you there. Somehow I ended up with a sword on. I put on Gallahorn and it went in my dim and when I came back I had a sword on. Oh, did you want us to stop again and reset? Yeah, it might be just as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it probably would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want you turning into me. What? All right. Pop off this. Apparently, I can't return to orbit on my skimmer. Yeah, don't make my mistake. Don't autopilot into Legend and then run with a cryosthesia all the way through. It's not easy. <laughs> the mission's already hard enough and I made it like super hard. Right. Yeah, PPG. Oh, there we go. PPG, like I said, man, you know, being here, I always like to bring the the energy. I'm not I'm not a person who tends to uh, you know, externalize. I mean, if I do, it's usually for myself. Right? It's like my own mistake and I get upset with myself. But I never take that energy and put it upon someone else because that's not healthy. So if I'm if I'm annoyed with something, it's usually because I did something wrong and then I have to talk myself out of it. But if someone else behaves in a certain way, that's their energy, not mine. So I've learned and I'm still learning that, you know, if someone behaves in a certain way, that's something I can't control. But I can control how I so respond true. to it. You so know? true. So, you know, my responsibility as a person is to just think, all right, well, this person's angry. I'm not. So it's not my business to try and solve their problem. They're, they've likely had a bad day and they're trying to project that onto me. But it's like, well, you can do your best, but it's, I'm not your problem. And I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just like a lot of, a lot of times, you know, that externalizing just comes from you wanting to release, but releasing it is not necessarily the healthiest method when you're doing it to someone else so putting up a shield for yourself to say hey look you know what 
That's you, not me. I'm gonna I'm gonna maintain my happiness and my joy. And you know what? The good thing about that is, is if I maintain my peace, that likely will spread to that person. Yep. So, you don't want to fight fire with fire. You want to put out the fire. So I just act chill. You respond kindly. And no, kindness is not weakness. Kindness is a very, very powerful thing to have. Oh yeah. Now yeah, I get the res here. All right. And I tell you, you know, being being a content creator, you know. Find a, I find a lot of content creators, especially nowadays, at least from my experience, just a lot of profanity, a lot of explicit stuff, and it's not a healthy environment to be in when you're the person tuning in, and all you're hearing is just explicit, explicit, explicit. It's like some people find it normal, but I don't find it to be healthy. You don't necessarily have to always speak explicitly to get your point across, you can speak normally yeah. and you'll be fine. That was overkill. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely overkill, dude. You're trying to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely overkill. Was not thinking about that. Shooting a rocket in the middle of a group? <laughs> <laughs> My mindset was still in the my grenade launcher. That's why I pulled it out. I guess I'm at the phase of finding it before I can try to maintain it. That is true. I mean, it is a journey. You know, staying in the right mindset is a journey. But I will say that the journey is worth it because. Oh no! What happened? I'm not I'm not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely Thank you. you bring up a good point though, uh PPG in, in that like it, it does require a lot of uh finding, like you know, self discovery is part of the, the whole idea. Oh, you gotta be serious. You boot me off. Almost did. Uh, but yeah, self-discovery is part of the, the experience. And it's probably the most rewarding part of the experience as a whole because it's that journey that really solidifies you as a person. It's it's not something you could just do overnight. You know, it's it's part of the process of growth. And just like you plant a seed, that seed needs time to grow. It doesn't doesn't happen overnight. So when you can apply that same mindset where like you're just planting a seed and you just have to keep watering that seed each and every single day. And so long as you're making the, the right strides and the right efforts of ensuring that, you know, possibility, then you should be good. Only when you give up that it no longer becomes a viable option, but just don't give up. Because there's, there's no harm in, in trying. You know, if you fail, you fail. But like the the bigger the bigger harm is you maintain that same negativity all the time. That's not healthy. But at least if you put the effort into to try and be more positive, then the outcome will be more positive. Hit too hard, way too hard. Get out of here! Stop following me. <laughs> I just hopped into the middle of that crew. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you do that. I was like, ah, oh, Gramps, I commend you. <laughs> well, I was in my titan self <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly just 
Operation Punch. <laughs> Nothing much else. <laughs> I, I totally feel the Titan mentality. You feel you feel like you're unstoppable, and then someone stops you. <laughs> <laughs> Titans are the true unstoppable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these guys are just relentless. There we go. Now we can make it back upstairs. But if you do have if you do like want any sort of advice or anything on how to maintain the right attitude, uh PPG. I would say um start with your environment and by environment I mean the people around you that's usually where your influence comes from so I'm not saying you should just you know completely dump all your friends or anything but if you if you realize or notice that there are patterns of behavior that don't seem to, to synergize with how you like to feel then that's likely a strong sign that perhaps you got to change Oh, uh, who you hang around with. You need to ADS a bit with the hand cannon to stun on stops. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that. I have to like hold it. I'm so used to the Malphesians because the Malphesians you just automatically stun them. Which is the which is one of the, the reasons why I love Malphesians is because I don't have to hold it down. Yeah. I can just shoot and not worry about anything. But every other hand can I have to remind myself. See, th this is like the caveat of having too many weapons at your disposal. You forget how to like use other ones. Oops, I totally missed him. Did that rocket miss him completely? No way. Nice. Perfect. We're not gonna disable this thing. Perfect. My forces are rallying, but it will take some time. I always forget Almost this location. I always Every get lost here. That brings us that much closer yeah. to calamity. No matter how many times I do this. This defense relay thing. Taking a bit more work than I thought. It hasn't been turned on since the Ishtar days. Hope it still works. With the Empress's Legion routed, it may be our last line of defense. Sounds like someone's coming around to the untested Ishtar weapon. But I will say though that this uh, this weapon is amazing. Midnight Coup, I was using it last night in PvP. My goodness. I felt unstoppable. This gun is phenomenal in PvP. Do you have a good roll for it? Oh yeah, I I got like a, a good handful of good rolls on this thing, so I gotta test them all. But the one I'm currently using, I'll check in a second. Uh I think I think this one is kinetic tremors. So on, let's see. Uh, explosive payload and rampage is what I'm currently using. That sounds good. Probably better than the one I'm trying to use right now. Which one do you have? Uh, I'm trying a desperate measures with uh, firefly. Ooh, that's a pretty good one because at least desperate measures, if your class is light or dark, depending on what you have. You get the Any benefits, right? Yeah, it's a little hard to get it going in this more difficult content, though. Oh, uh, that is very true. Oh, wait, sorry, my mistake. I'm, I meant that was Indomitability. Indomitability is the one where you have light and dark. Desperate Measures is... Um, yeah. Desperate Measures is... Uh, like melee and grenade kills to stack up higher damage buffs. No ah, that's what it was, yes. Osiris, Thank you. What do we do? Remember your training. Yeah, it is you a bit tricky in this mode. Unless you play really up close to get those melee kills, or 
grenade kills. It's definitely. Yeah, which, in theory, I should be able to do. I think in this moment, like if put all those hordes down there right now, you probably could get away with it if you threw a grenade. I have the bonk camera, so I'm trying to get that going. Oh, okay. Yeah, try that one. Because that counts as melee, right? The bonk camera? Yeah. And it refunds itself if you pick it up, so... Oh, even better. I think, yeah, the current one that I have, uh, as I mentioned, explosive and rampage is pretty good because the rampage perk is just really strong. But I think I also have kinetic tremors slash explosive payload on the same roll, too. So that to me is also a pretty solid roll. Okay, let me grab you. Or never mind. You got up. Yeah, I rolled some pretty good rolls yesterday, so I figured I'm pretty safe on the Midnight Coup as far as uh, those picks, but I might try and farm more for uh, more mountaintop and see if we can try and get some better rolls. Not that they were bad, I think they were pretty good too, but try and get uh, a couple. But I will say, uh, the one thing I love about this gun is it's very snappy and just... Everything just feels smooth on it. I can't explain it, but... When I use this weapon, it feels like I'm using like an Ace of Spades. But the... I don't know. The sound of it is what I like. It sounds very powerful. That's a good thump to it. Yeah. Very good thump. Shadow Legion cowards, this is Empress Kyoto, the true sovereign of the Cabal. You've chosen to ally yourself with a gutless traitor worshipping a false god. We are Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink. The oh, yeah, I should have said something, Grams. My bad. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> that was my bad in this comp. Well, this is not Onslaught, so the comms are not that important. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me... Uh, to here, and if, if you do have time, I guess if you're here with Gramps and I, did you want to run an Onslaught with us? And try? Yeah, I'd be down. Cool, since we're all here anyway. Might as well attempt to try it with y'all. And then Javi, if you're here too, if you wanted to try it again later on, brother, uh, let me know. Because uh, if Blick shows up, then we can we can run it with Blick. And if Blick doesn't show up later, uh, I mean, of course, Jay. Jay's always open to, to come through. Stupid tree. Got palm tree now. The tank shows up. There we go. Tank dead. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta say, 140s for me, uh... I love 140s, man, on these hand cannons. As much as the 120s hit... I don't know, man, these 140s... Something else. Just watching the show and eating? No worries. No worries, man. Yeah, like I said, if not today, there's always tomorrow. Like, I'm, I'm really running Onslaught all week, so... We're not missing much. 
I'm gonna keep on farming on Onslaught until I can get some good picks. And it's just a fun mode overall, so even if I don't really care for the farming aspect, just the challenge itself is what's fun. And working together to get the legend run done is always nice. But next week though, it'll be more incentive because they'll make changes to the actual mode, which is perfect. Oof, I got one-shotted by that Hank beam. Trying to get up to you. <laughs> of course I picked it up this time. Uh, I was gonna say, you're a mean one. <laughs> Just ignored me. I see. There's a barrier down there. I'm gonna try and get him. Yep. But I'm gonna try and implement more dungeon runs. Because I would like happy to experience more dungeons, and uh, you know, for the most part, I think Prophecy would be a nice one to start because it is quite the challenge for a new player. But it's a fun challenge. It's a challenge that I feel you'd probably enjoy. Yeah, it's not quite as rough as the newer ones like Ghosts and Warlords. Exactly. And it's free as well. Exactly. It's free that as is well. A big deal. It's a very, very big deal. Yeah, it's. It's a fun mission, it has enough challenge and depth to where you have to use I'll your brain. I'll respawn in 20 seconds. I'll be back in about 5. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick up here where I yep. have a chance of dying. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> yep, we're both back now. Knowing me, I'll still die up here, but you know. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> you're alright, you're good. You gotta take back those duality? I think duality is part of the paid Pay to win. Yep, it is. You have to buy the thirty the what, the dungeon key, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, a, a lot of the a lot of the juicier content is uh, locked behind the the paywall, but I mean it is worth it. Like I said, you know if if that's something you want to invest in, I feel like it's it's definitely a, a good viable asset to have i didn't think so the same way like i honestly thought that i was going to be fine just playing with just playing with the normal mode because i really was i genuinely was content by playing with arc and stasis in the beginning of my new light journey like i fell in love with with arc and stasis really early on okay perfect I don't really need it, but no, oh, this refresh my heavy. Uh, but yeah, I felt like I was just as content in the beginning. I was just like, man, I don't need these paid pay to win things. And then when I saw Strand and everything, I was like, oh well, uh, hmm. Maybe you do need it. <laughs> yeah, it's like maybe <laughs> maybe I should try this out. And then everyone convinced me, it's like, you should get it, you should get it. It's like, you know, you have so much more weapon options and all this other stuff. And I'm like, all right. And then everyone was just kind enough to, like, really kind enough to just grab me everything. Like, I didn't even ask for these things. I never begged for it. Because, like I said, I was super content. I was just like, man, I'm just happy playing Ark and Stasis. But everyone just said, nope, just, just get it. And lo and behold, I hopped off of Epic and then went to Steam and then everyone just gifted me things. So it's like, you guys are too much. But I'm still forever grateful for all that. Because without without y'all, I would not be playing this mode with you right now. Which is crazy to think about. Like I went and had all those like, amazing experiences playing duality with, with, with Gramps or playing um, Ghost of the Deep with... Uh, who was it? Was it Will? I can't remember if it was Will. But just so many things I would have missed out on if I had not had the chance to upgrade. Like so many really funny moments and positive moments with everyone. All thanks to the youth. And that's why I'm trying to convince Javi to do the same thing. <laughs> it's like, Javi, come on, man. You're missing out.
Although I will say, if if not buying this stuff now is not in the uh, I don't know, not in the realm of purchase for you, then you could always wait till final shape because I imagine that's going to be really where things are going to be worthwhile because of all the new prismatic stuff that we're getting. So if you want to hold off for like another month and a half, it's totally fine. But I imagine, knowing Bungie, they're probably going to release another discount sale to get people really into the game. Just like with the Humble Bundle stuff, I imagine they're probably going to have some sort of Steam sale again. Which would be nice. They did on Epic now, didn't they? Yes, that's actually very true. All the, the packs are like very cheap, like seven bucks or something like that. Need a more defensible position. This way, Guardian. Very, very cheap. But then again, I, I know, uh, I know have does play on Steam. Up, though. It does. It does. It adds up significantly. And it's still good value, nevertheless. I think it's, what, like under yeah, is, 40 yeah, bucks? Yeah. I can't remember the exact price, but I know it's like eight ninety nine, and I think one was like 10 bucks or something. I can't remember the, the full details, but... I think overall it's like under 40 bucks on Epic, but the only thing is, much like my problem earlier when I first started was that everyone plays on Steam, <laughs> so that's the uh, the only caveat is that once you have it on Epic, you can't swap over. Yeah, but on the other hand, it doesn't really matter since it's crossplay. True. Very good point. So once you do buy it on Epic, you can just play it on Epic and. You can still mm -hmm. play through Steam friends and everything. Yeah. And PS4 and Xbox and everything. Very true. Yeah. Very good point. So if you're out there and you're listening, now's the chance. Because that, that chance may never come again until much, much later. But who knows when that later will come. Because I imagine if I had waited, who knows? Like, I, I could say right now, oh yeah, man, if I just waited, I could have gotten it now. But, who knows? Like, that's so far back in the past, we, we didn't even know what the future would bring at that point. Oh, see? Just like, just like Osiris just said, don't squander the opportunity. <laughs> and to be entirely honest, I'm not sure you would have still streamed this game if you didn't have the expansions. You think so? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You would have run out of a content. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, you could have run onslaughts for every stream all of the time, but it's good to shake it up sometimes as well. Very true. Yeah. The variety is what's been keeping me hooked on this game for a very long time. Yeah. Well, I imagine, especially knowing myself, I'd probably get burned out of the same thing, which is never a good thing. Nope. And this game being so good, and I don't want to get burned out. Like, there are days where I feel tired. I'm like, oh, I don't want to play. But then a part of me is like, oh, just keep playing because it's just so good. Because there's always something fresh for me to try out. So like if I do feel bored of one area, nowadays I'm trying to solo run dungeons, so that to me is like a new challenge and it kind of wakes up my brain again to think, oh, there is something new about this game I can try and I'm pushing myself, you know, beyond my, my creative limits to see how I can, for example, beat the Spire the Watcher solo or uh, yesterday I was trying Warlord's Ruin solo again. But my success wasn't that great, but I did advance. I got further than I, than I did before, so that's progress. So any small degree of progress to me is always growth. But I would say my greatest success thus far has been the Shattered Throne solo. So now I just want to do it with Spire. And Spire, I got really far. I got to like end of the boss, got half of his life done, and then I just died. And it was like really late, so I just went went to bed. But had I started earlier, oh wait, did I get too far ahead of you guys? I don't know. Okay. Get joining allies. Don't worry. Okay, perfect. I'm reading major shockwaves in the 
Yeah, you actually do. Actually, hmm. we actually caught up with you before the joining allies. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Raiding with LFG. Yeah, that's one thing too that I wanted to stay away from, which is why I love having you guys around. Because if I do run into the situation where I want to actually uh, raid, and now have a good community of people who love the game enough to want to raid with me. So that in itself too would have been like another thing I had to avoid or not avoid, but I wouldn't have had the chance to participate in because I wouldn't have had all the dungeons or all the raid situations. <laughs> Let go, let's raid. Oh yeah, we'll have to definitely do a raid at some point. Absolutely. Because it has been a while. Usually, the only reason why I don't raid as much is because raiding requires, again, a big group of people, and because everyone's got their lives, myself included, it's not always easy to gather six people every week. So, I usually try to do raids maybe like once a month, I try. And it also makes the game feel fresh, too. Having to do raids every week can be really tiring. So it does require a lot of your your devotion and time. Yeah, it does. Yeah. On, onslaught and... Onslaughts and, um, you know, small dungeons are totally fine. Because that doesn't require too much out of you. But raids require so... Seconds. Okay, no problem. Yeah, raiding requires so much of your attention and it's like you can't really get up and break for example with a raid whereas with a dungeon dungeon i can say okay you know what we've done this let's take a five minute break get something to eat you know well i'm i'm not entirely sure i agree with you there okay you, you can take breaks in between encounters oh that is true i guess like prior to a boss or something mm -hmm. That's true. I guess it kind of fits the same ordeal as a dungeon, where you can take a bit of a, a breather before the, the boss starts. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't really see it that way. Ah, oh, damn it. That's fine. Yo, what's up, Ellie? Running some Legend Lightfall? Yeah, I'm trying to get the, the weekly missions done so I can get to level 8 Guardian rank for once. Uh, raid is just the same with dungeons, just more people. Yeah, more people and uh, a lot more effort. But I would say the effort is worth it. Uh, you have some good players in your community. I mean, you don't have to be full team anyways. That is true. Yeah, I mean, the people I run with are, are very, very, very good at doing raids. And I think that's a, a positive. It's less, less to stress about. But as far as Root of Nightmares... I don't know, like I said, I'll probably I'll probably do like a raid at the end of the month or something. Like I have to, I have to plan these things more effectively. Because initially in the beginning, because I was so new and I was so like excited about things, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do raids every week! But then as I realized, I'm like, okay, this is not... <laughs> this is not feasible. <laughs> like, no, I, like, my, like my brain was melting at that point. Like I felt, I felt more burnout at that point when we did raids every week compared to now, where I wake up and I'm like, oh, all right, let me just relax and do one slot, or let me relax and do a solo run of a dungeon or something. Like that is more chill for me. But if I had to do raids and dungeon every week, my brain would probably just, just like uh, Graham said earlier, I'd probably leave the game. And I don't want that because I love this game a lot. 
I really love Destiny. And now is the, the right time to be playing Destiny because there's so much content coming down the road. The last thing I want to do is leave this game, especially that uh, you know I'm loving the content as far as far as making content. I found I found something I enjoy in terms of the content I like to make, which is you know weapon reviews and all that good stuff. Uh, I think raids. I think of raids as the activity who want more stimulation from the general gameplay loop. That is very true. It is very stimulating because there's, there's more required of you, you know. Just don't think, NJ. <laughs> Just don't think. Try to go you for the right You cheese second face? Yes, let's do that for sure. What's your cheese? Does work or is there a new way? You just jump up on the outside of the bubble. Oh. It yeah, always comes towards the inside for some reason, but maybe I can mm -hmm. do it wrong. Yeah, I think I'm probably doing it wrong myself because the way I, well, my way of cheesing was obviously just jumping around. I literally ran around in circles the entire time and just shot him once every single time with the indebted. Every time he stopped to, to chop me, I just shot him in the face, stunned him and ran away again until I beat him. But that's a solo cheese. I don't know about the team cheese. It's a new type of cheese. But please show me the cheese, because I'm actually, I'm actually curious about this this cheese you speak of. Yeah. It's all got the same. It's got all the same fighting. Maybe not as spicy as GM, but with all the added mechanics, communications on top of it all. I'm trying to just slide out of the way here. Um. Just have the bog one, vault of glass. Yeah, vault of glass is uh, an interesting one. I actually enjoy that one now. The more I've done it, I actually don't mind the comms. They're pretty fun to call out. All right, here we go. 12 seconds. All right. We're on last phase now, so... All right, so how do we do this cheese you speak of? Oh, didn't work for me. Hopefully yeah. y'all can... I'm with I'm you. Up oh, you're up there? I'll get there. Yep. Run around. Yep, I'm running around just with you. <laughs> I'm right behind you. Oh my gosh, and I'm dead. <laughs> the tormentor just kickboxed me off of the map. I'm back in 20 seconds. But if, if Gramps is cheesing it, then we should be safe. Because even if we die, Ooh. you can't touch Gramps. I think D2 vets also forget they have never needed to learn all the raids at once. In most cases, if they played them as they released, they... Oops, I'm going to respawn now. Alright, give me one second. I gotta just, like, focus up. It should be okay, because I popped my special on him. He should melt. Or not. Oh, the one time I popped him, he was immune. What a jerk. Okay, I'm back in, um, nine seconds. I'm back in now. My brain rates all over the place like yours was yesterday. <laughs> there we go. There we go, nice. Burn me I'll just too. come down and join you. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I need to sh you need to show me where that cheese was. So, what exactly you, do you do here? You need to have um, the uh, Stram... Uh, Ability? Chicken Bungie. Callus is no more. Chicken Bungie. Mm, the grapple? Yep, the grapple, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it didn't work for me. Hey, uh, and then... Do you guys you just that? grapple up on onto the the, the bubble that uh, shuts you in. Mm. 
Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna I gotta try it next time. Then. Next week when I do another master run. Or sorry, legendary run. Mm -hmm. Test it out. That's if we do this one, because the weekly mission I think changes, right? Yeah, it does. Yep. Rest now. Should be the first mission next week. Which is I a think believe. It goes in the sequence that you get them in the campaign. Oh, okay, gotcha. Okay. That's perfect. I'll just run it next week with the easier ones. Because this is the hardest mission, I would say, out of all of them. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This is... The other missions are a walk in the park for Legend Runs. So much so that I can probably run it solo. But I speak very highly of myself. And sometimes that might... I'm in the butt. I think you can do it. Yeah. I probably could. I mean, I did it already, technically. <laughs> to get this whole okay. achievement done, I did it already, so... But let me go back to reading what you said, Ellie. Um... <clears throat> meeting my placebo nuts, sorry. <clears throat> <laughs> so, if they played them as they released, they would have had months to familiarize and perfect each raid before needing to worry about whole new mechanics. For a new player, it's a wall of activities that all have their own knowledge gaps. And I think getting familiar with one or two is a good strat, good what start to them. Happened? Very true. Very true. A good point. Uh, you've done it. Just got to do a little Guardian interview. <laughs> guardian interview? <laughs> what do you mean by that? And it's so hard to LFG master challenges. Yeah, it definitely... Unless, unless the people that you're with know exactly what they have to do, and they're just cracked out of their brain, then yeah, it's not always easy. It's like a coin toss every single time you do a LFG. And when you win, you're winning. And when you lose, well, what can you do? It's like going to a casino. You just gotta keep putting your coins in until eventually you get a good team. <laughs> If at first you don't succeed. <laughs> try, try again. <laughs> hmm? So I don't I don't mind it. Let's see, did I get anything for this? Oh let me see. Let me check my journey. Finally! Alright, now it's done. Thank goodness. It just sucks that it's not farmable. Like we can't do it again and again until we get three at the wait. Okay though. What we can do now is we can jump into an onslaught. Yep. I just ask them the mechanics if they know, they stay, or I'll teach. And that, that's a good way of uh, of approaching it too, Jay. It's just kind of getting a feel for the, the players, seeing what they know, what they don't know, and that way you can just fill in the gaps. It's always a, a positive thing. You want to see that uh oh yeah that i got so yeah 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 i got so caught up i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> uh so right. where do we go first for that do we go to um i think we go to just want to go to uh neomuna and click on the the normal campaign replayable missions gotcha okay and then we want to do and breakneck want... right Yes. Aye, aye, Captain. You lead it the way. Like maybe you had a... Did you have a checkpoint on that already? I did not. Did I need one? No, I, it popped up. It looked like you had one, but I'm, it must be something I have on my character. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't have one because uh, I think every every week the checkpoints reset, correct? These don't. That's one of the reasons why I like this. I have had the checkpoint for this room for months without it resetting. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I thought that usually every week things would reset. Could work yeah, for you? I don't know why these don't, but... Can't complain with that. <laughs> yeah. 
So this is a place you said, this is just like unlimited farming, I imagine, right? Yeah, so it's nice because it's easy to get to and because you don't have to use your precious raid banners to farm special and heavy ammo weapon pills. Hmm, okay. It's probably slightly less efficient time-wise than you should achieve, but it's, it has those other benefits. I shall... I shall follow you then and see where these benefits take me. Just so we're clear, if the cloud arc is so lost, when you first load in after you have the checkpoint, you'll actually like spawn right on that platform that we just jumped off right there. Okay. And you'll just have so to run up bad. after you like white it won't put you back that far again that's another one of those pockets of darkness okay should we get a closer look and i'm guessing this this uh, location is fairly close by then if that's the case yeah it's right right here on the other side of the cavern oh wonderful so when you wipe you respawn right hey, here and this is the room now, one thing you have to be very careful of is not to kill the wyvern at the end of the room. But you can place a free rally banner. Doesn't cost any raid banners. And then you just clear the room with whatever weapon you're using until you get to the wyvern at the end. And as long as you don't kill it and you wipe at that point, you will spawn back at the beginning of this game. Oh. It takes me about a minute to clear it with a wave frame grenade launcher. Sometimes quicker with other weapons, depending. This is actually not bad. So you're gonna see a wyvern spawn in right back here in this corner. Yeah, that guy right there, don't mm. kill him. Okay. Now, I imagine what happens is the Wyvern will stick around, but they'll the enemies will respawn? Oh, no, the Wyvern yeah, the kills you, right? So if we wipe right now, mm -hmm. you like shoot yourself in your foot with a grenade launcher. Okay. And of course, I have Banner of War times four. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Right. Cool. And so it's just a matter of kill the spawns, uh, wipe, and then rinse and repeat, right? Yeah. I was able to do the quest for the mountain top um, to be able to focus it, or not focus, but like get more drops mm -hmm. um, in a, like 15 minutes or less. Oh wow! Maybe maybe I could show you another spot then. Please. Go ahead. So if let me you go to the moon. Let me uh, go to orbit then. So this this spot will be saved now, right? This this uh, checkpoint. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'll, I'll see you next week if it sticks around. And PPG, it is more about time like people are leaving too fast after some wipes and don't have the patience for the team to get familiar. That's And that's a big problem too, is patience. Most players don't have it. They have, they have all the time in the world, but they don't have the one thing that's important. Patience. <laughs> So this one that I'm going to show you now is weak, uh, weak based though. So okay. two out of three weeks, you have a good grinding mission, but the third week is a bad one. So this week is the first one and that's a good one. Okay. And, and if you go, take, take the, a mysterious disturbance campaign quest. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is new to me. Usually, I, I just think of Altars of Sorrow, but I'm I'm open. Mm -hmm. I'm open to hearing this one. This is a spot where you can 
actually just keep grinding without having to wipe in between. Mm. Wonderful. So now I have multiple just spots. Like, yep. Just like the entrance to uh, uh, Grasp of Avarice. Ah, very nice. So this this is for those who may not have access to Grasp. Right. Mm. And have access to the moon. Right. Because, yeah, the moon is part of the, the free-to-try experience, I believe. Is it? I think uh, so. I, I don't really know anymore. <laughs> yeah, of course. I think Shadowkeep is. So if it's part of the Shadowkeep DLC, yeah, it then is. it would not be free. It is um, part of the Shadowkeep DLC. Oh, okay. And in that case, yeah, gotta, gotta cough up some cash a little bit. But it is worth it. Like I said, it is worth it. It's worth it now because everything's cheap. But at, for regular price, I can see why players would be hesitant. But now is the time when they're giving the, they're giving it away like water, almost. Yeah. So I wouldn't sleep on this chance. So right here, I imagine, or, or is it deeper in? Okay. Uh, this is just the first part. We have to get past this part. We will investigate. But first, okay. we must regain a lunar foothold. For some of you, this is all too familiar. But do not let the atrocities of Crota haunt you. Whatever this is, we will not let the tragedies of our past... <laughs> okay, I was wondering where you stood the door. I was like, you go through the door, or...? No, just can stay there and just kill enemies. Okay. We just need to kill a certain amount of en enemies, and then we will continue. Gotcha, okay. And as you can see, there are these uh, markers for heavy ammo. Mm -hmm. Those chests will give you full heavy ammo and full energy ammo. Ooh, wonderful. Wow, this is actually and pretty good. They will good farm. respawn as well. Wow, this actually is a good spot to farm then. So you can probably even opt out of using your heavy ammo finder and special ammo finder because it'll always just be there for you. Yep. Mm. Very nice. There, There is one downside to this bow. And that is that it is match made. Ah, oh, okay. So you can't come in this solo. You can. If you block some ports in in uh, your router. Oh, that's what you are mentioning yesterday to me. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. That that's way, a... if if you do that, you can also play um, strike solo, for instance. Crota's death left a void they have yet to fill. If you feel like uh, just. Having a small challenge, not that big of a challenge, but doing something just you. I see. Yeah, my 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 concern was the whole router thing because I I don't I don't live on my own. I live in a shared apartment. Yeah, but this is it. Actually, isn't the hardware on the router? It's it's in your computer. It's software based. Okay, I see then. Okay, that yeah, that so, was definitely my concern. Yeah, so it's just your computer. Okay. And that just, like you said, that manipulates the game into thinking that you're running it solo. Yeah, that there are no other people to match make with. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So you will still be in a queue for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then it will launch you, just like it would if it didn't find any matches for you. Interesting. That's some new tech. <laughs> That's definitely very, very intriguing. It is something that has been used since, well, maybe not launch, but very early days. And that's that's your meth. That's your method, or I'm guessing you just use whatever comes to mind. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is definitely a... And this is like a very open space too, so there's a lot of room <laughs> for you to so, move around. Now that we have killed a lot of enemies, mm -hmm. they will start to respawn in this portal here. So you can actually spawn camp them. Until they continue. That, uh, in that portal, yeah? Because they will respawn in that portal all the time. Oh. That's so actually... now they respawn here again. So it's kind of like another grasp then, like you said. Yep. Except this time you're not going to die from picking up the wrong uh, engrams uh -huh. on the floor. Exactly. And then you have these two chests back here. Oh yeah, the heavies, yeah, right behind the rock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh. And if you pick one up, it will respawn after a short time. But then you have the other chest. Right. If it hasn't respawned when you need it. Very true, because you can run all the way back to the other part of the map. Mm -hmm. And if you don't feel like you want to wait for respawns in that portal you could also go down here to the fissures down here where they will spawn uh, lesser enemies uh, mm. so they called the troll oh, okay and they will just creep up through the fissure and you can kill them here oh, this and is... then just jump up and get the chests that's awesome that's wonderful then that's i'm gonna put this one down then uh, as far as other spots to farm maybe change things up every now and then and I, I like this better than the shiroshi because you don't need to wipe in between and just sit and wait on a death screen. True, because that is valuable time that you're having to, to wait for that yeah. screen to reload. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Shiroshi checkpoint has, has uh, a lot of good things going for it too. It's very dense with enemies, so you can get uh, a lot of kills quickly. Very true. They, they can stack up mm -hmm. very, very fast. But if you don't, if you don't uh, have the checkpoint, you still have to either get a checkpoint somehow from someone or from a D2 checkpoint if they serve it when you need it. Or you have to go through the wishing wall, and that takes time. Mm -hmm. mm, I'd yeah. say the campaign mission is like a compromise. Much easier to get to than Shirochi, but it still has the same white mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. And that is a very, so very... This is, this is more like the Grasp of Avarice, in that you don't have to die, but you still you don't even have to watch yourself for picking up those burden or riches. <clears throat> right, exactly. And that can be a burden in and of itself. So now Gee. you have options. Absolutely, yeah. And I, I love options. I love having them. So this, this I appreciate. I, I definitely love to have variety when it comes to farming things. Especially now that we have so many weapons to choose from that are farmable. I would love to take advantage of this when I have the opportunity. And then also PP Gaming or PPG. I'm calling you PPG, man. I'm not going to call you that PP Gaming anymore. <laughs> uh, PPG uh, mentioned that Shadow Throne's a good spot, which I definitely agree with as well. Definitely agree. And also, Geo, good to see you, brother. What, get, what are we up to? We're gonna run. We're gonna run uh, an onslaught together. But Grams and Tahirin, as I, you know, as promised, I would allow Tahirin to show me a spot to farm, and we got that done. And now, Grams is just quickly showing me another spot to farm for 
for ads just for like farming you know let's say weekly stuff or in this case for the onslaught for quests this would be like a good spot to farm if you wanted to just grab that quest and get it done within you know under an hour or under half an hour but like i said the downside of this is that it is weak based though right right exactly that's the only caveat but again, if, if that's something you, you favor and you don't mind the weekly the weekly thing, then that's, you know, this again is an option that I think players can take advantage of. Did you leave, by the way, Tyrion? Yeah, I'm yep. going to like, switch classes and attune a different weapon so I can be prepped for onslaught. Okay, you know what? In that case, then... If you don't mind, then, uh, Gramps. I appreciate you telling me this, and I thank you very much. Let's leave Orbit, because that, that just reminded me. I'm going to try and test out a new build in Onslaught, because the one I have right now is is pretty consistent. And I want to just explain my, my mindset around why I choose Arc so much, and why I chose that particular build, uh, and why I love Moth Keepers so much. It's just because in a mode where defense is really imperative, you want to have the option to play defensively. Like a lot of people say, you know, the best defense is your offense. I just say the best defense is your best defense. So as long as I have a solid foundation of tools that keep me and my team alive uh, and keep enemies at bay, Arc really plays into that because I can constantly spam my abilities with Amplified and I think Arc is one of the very few, well, I wouldn't say very few, but one of the only subclasses that really allow you to spam abilities and get them back very quickly. And it's also a subclass that allows you to really like play that min-max game really well because of the Spark of Haste. You can take advantage of that to get your mobility, resilience, and recovery up without having to invest in your, let's say, your armor as heavily. So you can still achieve 100, 100, 100 for Hunter so long as you have Arc and you're playing with Spark of Haste. So that's one reason why I love it. Two, uh, Moth Keepers can play offensively and defensively, so I can use the Moth to blind targets. But at the same time, if my teammates are nearby, they get overshield, I get overshield. Everyone, you know, still stays alive. And with Amplified, I get to basically do whatever I want. I get faster speed, especially in Onslaught where speed is king because getting to one point to the next, grabbing grabbing batteries, coming back, is really, really good. Also, I love the fact that I can mix and match different weapons to get the most benefit. So, for example, I can go with something like Malfesians to deal with Unstoppable. Indebted to deal with the barriers, and then I can go with something like Hollow Blue to just add clear. Indebted is really good because, of course, it's Arc anyway. And then because it's a special weapon, I have the I think it was Spark of Brilliance. No, was it? What was it called? Ah, oh, Spark of Beacon. Sorry. So anytime I have a special weapon that's Arc, everyone gets blinded, which is perfect because if I can blind targets. They can't see us, we can see them, and they get erased. And then on top of that, moth, the moths themselves blind. And all of that just culminates into a really, really proactive build where I don't have to necessarily play too aggressively. I can just throw nades. And I have two, two nades, so that's even better. I have double grenades at my disposal. I have jolt, which is really good for dealing with multiple targets. That helps to just feed into my ability, plus my Ionic Traces. Every time I grab an Ionic Trace, it gives me more energy or more ability energy, which again goes right back to me spamming all my abilities constantly. But that's one reason why you see me like playing Arc so much and why I love the class or subclass a ton because of that versatility. And then today, I was thinking of testing out uh, a slightly different build, but similar in the sense that I want to continue blinding enemies. And that was... That was my lucky raspberry build with arc bolt grenades. And, and to be entirely honest, you have a really good damage dealing uh, super. Right, yes. Well. Yes. 
that's another thing too. I have two strong options. The Arc Staff is great, but the Gathering Storm is really good for just... I can just throw that directly at a boss's brain and it sticks to them. Yeah. And that's probably the biggest positive is I don't have to worry about being too aggressive. I can just play at a range that's safe, throw my super, and I can still LF or linear fusion rifle them from afar. And then my team also benefits too because they don't have to be too aggressive either. We can all just play from a distance and we can all use our ranged attacks while still the boss is taking damage over time from the gathering storm. And if there are targets nearby the boss, like a little small adds, they get erased too. So another positive in, in arc is that I don't have to always commit. And that's the one thing that I feel complements my play style is I don't like to commit too much unless I have to. And so this uh, Lucky Raspberry build I'm trying out with the Arc Bolt is great because I can use Malfusions to deal with Unstoppables. I can use Lucky Lucky Raspberry to deal with the Overloads because the Arc Bolts stun uh, Overload Champions. And then I have Indebted to deal with Barriers and then Hullabaloo's is there for, of course, just add control. So I'm going to try this build out. And then I was thinking of also trying out the... What's the other one? Um... Shinobu's Vow, where the skip grenades are improved. And so I get access to double skip grenades, just kind of like I'm running with double Mothkeeper grenades. And every time I damage the enemies, I get my skip grenade energy back, which goes right back into spamming abilities. And because these grenades track enemies, it's also good too, which kind of acts like a pseudo moth keeper. Plus, I'm still blinding too with my indebted. So it's kind of the same thing. It's I have to build my Shinobu's Vow. Yeah, skip nade spam. Yeah, basically just skip nades. It's essentially moth keepers, but it doesn't have the, the healing aspect. But I built it in a way where it does still give me the chance to heal myself. So I'm running like explosive finisher, for example. Uh, or this actually, no, this gives me more grenades back, but I could always run something like a healthy finisher where I can just, you know, do a finisher, get a free heal. So essentially, again, like a moth keep where I get heals. Um, and what else did I run? Of course, I have absolution on there. Uh, what else do I have? I think I had recoup right at a point. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Well, better already is still good. Better already installation all these things that go into my grenade builds so i'm gonna try this and see how we fare so let's give it a shot whenever you guys are ready just let me know i'm okay. ready okay okay let me just invite uh the here and here And that, that was my original mindset. I just wanted to explain myself rather than just showing. I mean, show, obviously, you guys have seen that at work. You've seen that it works well. I've, I've helped others clear a normal pretty easily with the Moth Keepers build. So I know it works. And then we got to wave 30 yesterday with the same build. So I know that it can easily get to well above 30. So I'm just looking for a consistent build that gives me everything that I need as far as tools. Long range, close range, mid range, healing, damage. Arc gives me everything. And then actually I tested out the void build last night, uh, Ellie. I just, usually when I when I test things, I just go for that quick onslaught playlist one. Like the, the, the 10 wave. And... I thought to myself, this is a good way to test it because if I can beat a 10 wave, then you know that the kit should technically work because you know it's every 10 waves. Obviously, things get difficult as you progress, but I think if it can work on one wave, it should definitely work on the next one. So I'm gonna try the void build at some point, uh, the Kefri Sting one, and see if I can try and manage it. Uh, as far as legends, or no, not legends, as far as um. Things are concerned. Are you guys okay with Midtown for this run? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let me double check to make sure I'm not. Okay, good. So I'm on the right builds. 
Lucky rats. Okay, cool. In the worst case scenario, if this build does suck long term, I could always go back to the tried and true, but I like to experiment. Yeah, what are you, what are you running, by the way, uh, Tahirin? I forgot what you are going to meant to uh, run, by the way. I am running Wellwalk with Sunshot. Nice. Perfect. Nice, nice. Wonderful, yeah, we need the heals. And I also have all three champion types. Excellent. All the more better. And I, I know what Gramps is running. So you do? I think. <laughs> is it Warlock again? I'm not so sure. No, not. I'm still on my Titan. Okay, all right. Okay, <laughs> I'll I'll shut up now. I'm actually running a, a Strand healing support. Uh, build where oh. I uh, I heal with um, the banner of war and also with uh, uh, restoration. Oh. Um, if if it's built correctly, it should be giving you guys. Uh, restoration as well if you're within 15 meters of me nice wonderful so we have double the heals well we all have heals so we can essentially just sustain yeah i have built mine to spam as many rifts as possible so and if you run through my rifts it actually helps me get it back quicker nice perfect that's a wonderful then. Yeah, this this is uh, definitely going to be a chill time then. As long as we have sustain, I think that's that's the way that's the way to win. I feel if, if as long as we're playing defensively, we'll we'll have a, a good time. Because uh, one thing I've I've noticed is from other streamers, I think I mentioned it yesterday too. But like when you play aggressively, you'll lose a lot more because this isn't a mode where you want to just run in and then attack because there's so many enemies that attack you and by the time you try to attack them your abilities are gone like you've worn yourself out but they're just like huh sucks for you because we're still coming you know so having a build that can outpace the horde is really the most imperative because if you can outlast them they, they can't they can't do squat and if you sit in a defensive position, space spring out coming towards you, so you get to deal with them kind of one by one. Exactly. Exactly. That's the point. Right. It's all about letting them come to you. The way I think about it is kind of like, like boxing, right? Like you, you can be the super aggro. Oh, oh, this is perfect. Actually, this is good. If the, the earlier we get the tormentor, the better. So that means the runs will be a lot easier because in wave 30 or higher, this thing is an annoyance. Okay, this was this was the issue that Jay and I ran into yesterday with uh, with Gegman. Is um, a lot of the tormentors' nonsense just kept on hitting us. Try and get him away from the. Uh, Gone. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, now I think our run's gonna be a lot easier because I don't think the tormentor comes back after this. It takes yeah, heavy ammo now, now, if you need it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I think now it only comes back if it's uh, if we're in that boss phase, but I think for the most part, tormentor is gone now, so we can just chill out. Worst cases we deal with those witches, but the witches I can tolerate more than a witch and a tormentor on my my butt. I saw a run on legendary with um, Astacross, where they got the um, tormentor on forty nine, and oh. they wiped. Oh gosh! Yeah, that must have hurt. Mhm. Mm I would have just stopped playing at that point. 
I would have just went outside and touched grass. <laughs> so. I'll save my special ammo for when it really matters. Bonus. Perfect. Right side. Right side, okay. Got the end of his speed. Special here. I'll grab these notes for us. Perfect. And we got the bonus done. Great. So if you guys want to do some duping, that's fine because I don't really know the timing of it. Okay. I know the mechanics, but I don't know how to time it right. Not a problem. Yeah, I've been duping the whole time, so we should be good. Best your opponents and okay, great. Survive. I'm inconsistent at it. I get it sometimes, sometimes I mess up. I think it's a little harder with the rift because the animation of the rift is long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can do it with um, uh, Icarus Dash as well. I might try that because I do have that on. Although I constantly forget to use it. Apparently there's a new tech, there's a new way you can actually do it without having to um, do the whole spiel of class ability spam. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I posted it in the Discord. But I don't know how. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. I mean, obviously it's very feasible. I just it was along the lines of pick it up and before you throw, you you press something. I don't know. It's in the video there. Yeah. Something like you pick it up before you throw it or something. Yeah. Pick it up before you throw, so I thought, okay, that seems to be a very viable option. I mean, in theory, it obviously could work in practice, however, that's a different story. Yeah. yeah so I've got 3166, so I might... Yeah, good call, Gramps. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. I, I don't have enough for it, though. Uh, you I do. tell me where to spend. Oh, I have six thousand. Uh, put one six right here. Six thousand, yeah. then, or maybe you could make a shacks over here. Oh yeah, true. Okay, yeah, I guess I next round. Okay, yeah, that was a good call, Gramps. I, <laughs> I got in the way of Gramps's best advice there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll just save then. I mean, I guess the positive is that we now have two purples, so we can always just split it and get two shacks up next round. But this is why I love Onslaught, because it gives me the chance to play with everyone. Like, I, I just love having the chance to play with everybody, rather than being limited to only certain things. And I, I just hate that feeling. Of like leaving people out. So again, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if Happy's still here, but Happy, if you are free tomorrow, brother, I do want to play with you again in Legend because we did do a really good job together on normal run. We got to 50 together, so I want to try and get us to the 50 on Legend. And then if Blick is around, I don't know if Blick has showed up yet, but Blick did say he wanted to do. A legend run because they've cleared it apparently they've cleared the legend uh 50 so that's good to know oh, i just realized something i didn't even use my overload grenade on that that uh, overload feature earlier i'll put my super down here Keep him from pushing. Uh, they 
this should be coming from the um, guy here. No regrets on that one. Well fought. Okay, I'm gonna right. try and go to B, I guess. B is almost done. B is done now. Good job. Very nice. I'll put the battery over there to you guys. Yeah, I covered it. Oh, it did work, I think. Nice. I'll swear. Let's do it. Okay, let me just collect some of uh, my orbs. Oh, I mean, more than needed anyway. All right, let me swap off. I'm gonna go to my doom. I was also considering uh, using Queen's Breaker here again too, because Queen's Breaker also blinds. So in the event I wanted to swap off of, let's say, my Malfeasions, I can just go to Queen's Breaker and just blind these big targets for us. Oh, let me know if you got it ready. Okay. Oh, there are three lanterns to shoot. Each can shoot one when they're ready. Perfect. Yeah, that's actually that's a good, good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea for sure. I have to make sure I don't do it with sunshot though, because sometimes sunshot there's <laughs> two of them. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stand in this yellow here. Oh, this is actually perfect. You deal with uh, these eyeballs. Oops. I forgot I'm not running my Moth Keepers. Just by habit, I almost killed myself with my own nade. Yeah, we're gone. I'm moving to the Perfect. And we got this. Yep. Very nice. Easy. Like I said, I feel Actually, like this... It was. Yeah. I think this is going to be a much easier time for us, like I said, because that Tormentor is no longer tormenting, so... We should be safe. I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. I know Jay mentioned it yesterday that if you once you beat the once you beat him early, he doesn't show up. So I figured, you know what? That's a good thing. Okay, let me put Shaq. This, this is a bug I've been I, I've had before. Yeah, I've had multiple times. Yeah, it's just why don't you? get to the ADU at once. It makes no sense to me. I have no idea. I have 6,000 if you want me to send somewhere real quick. Oh yeah, I go right here if you uh, want. I'd put down two. Um, great. We have a pack. Yeah, perfect. now we have a shack. So we should be more than enough. We should be perfect now. And then that way, the next time we rotate back to the other one, we still have our purples ready. They're all coming from this side, so I'll just put this down in the choke over there. What's up, Jack? Good to see you. Maybe RNG and return to the ether for you. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I I know that when again me me Jay and Ender are running it. And the moment we kill the Tormentor in like the earlier phase, that Tormentor didn't show up anymore. And that's why we were able to just get to 30, no problem, because we had, had no stress over the Tormentor just popping out of nowhere. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Almost. That was a brave move. 
almost costed you there. Yep. <laughs> Such a delight. I chose to say brave, but I meant something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on things behind us. We should be good though. Left side. Okay. We have a shielded generation. Oh no. Those are the worst. Yeah, they Absolutely. are definitely shielded. Let's see if we can try and get them off here. Oh, didn't just pop off my heavy. I'll do after I beat this thing. Okay, I'll, I'll take care of the ADU. You guys could... Uh, right, right there. We have batteries for days over there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep tossing them. Oh, we are stacking on batteries. Holy moly, we are... We are more than, more than healthy. Good good. Thing I, I, I have full heavy, so you guys just take it when you need it. Yeah, I just grab mine. <laughs> Gramps yeah. are the lowest key of roasts. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, no, Ellie was just saying, because uh, I guess you, you meant to say something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that is the life of Titan. I mean, we, we said it many times. We live, live by the fist, die by the fists. How <laughs> 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 it works. I'm trying to work out a second just quoting a scripture or a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on, let me just grab. I got this last ball over here. Could be one splinter more somewhere. Uh, yeah, there is. I'll grab that. You guys can try and hold it down. There we go. We should be alright here. Yep. Uh, I'll pop my super just in case. You yeah, know what? me too. <laughs> I just did. You just did okay. Then you know what? I'll save my super. I'll just keep the stats for now. To be honest, the invisible ones are my least favorite. They are so obscure, it's hard to get anything done. Yeah, the annoying, the annoying ones for sure are the uh, the ones that just teleport. So the blue shielded ones are just a uh, hassle to deal with. And they're very unpredictable too. Grab you can just heavy. grab a heavy air because it will be gone when we get back. Execute all yeah, exactly. targets and make sure you're still standing when the dust settles. Oops. Yeah, I'll go left here. All right. Uh huh. <laughs> I had to. I had to do it. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, I just blinded a target and I teabagged them because he couldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never knew that you was going to turn out to be toxic. <laughs> I'm using that that toxic. I just had to. I just payback. It was payback. I'm, I'm usually a very non-toxic guy, but there's a one. There's one time where that one enemy just he annoyed me. I was like, "All right, you know what? Next time, that won't happen." Ooh. And I Gegman. Was to put a rest on you. It's all good. No problem. You should be able to make it. No problem. I hope. You really are that I'm on a Titan, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> this reminded. I did not mean to collect the spark. Oh. oh. Okay. No worries. No worries. Okay, I'm backing oh, up. Just, just back up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll back up. I'm good. I'm good here. Nice and safe. I'll be back in ten seconds. All right. No worries. Okay. How you doing, by the way, Gagman? Good to see you. I'm back. All right. All right, I should be able to just dive in now. I have enough speed to get in there. Or not. Yes, yes. Can I make it through? Perfect. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Yay. <Total run>. <laughs> <laughs> Triumphant tactics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just speed through. We are so good at this game. <laughs> Amazing. You would not believe the plays when you can. <laughs> can you I want upgrade? me to upgrade this one as well? Yeah, by all means. The more the more decoys we can get, the better. So now oh my gosh, yeah, we are this is safe haven right now. Yep. No, we I need like one. This. Yeah, we just have one more on the left and then we are this this spawn point here is gonna be perfect. There's no way these enemies will have a chance. Okay, I might super here. Just to keep them from coming back. Super there. Hey, thank you. Oh! Right inside our base. Yeah, which is crazy. And all the teleports are coming here. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we got this. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm yeah. not so sure. <laughs> okay. How are they getting our base though? So many of them. Oh, wow! How did that happen? Yeah. Was it that because they just? Yeah. Were they just teleporting? They must have just teleported in and out. Because we were all in. We were all in the base there. Yeah, but there were so many of them, and they were invisible, so it's hard to see them. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. And with all those slow nades going off, it was even harder. Very true. Okay, you know what then? I'll go back to my my moth keepers because I think having more moths would actually help there. The arc bolt didn't really generate much momentum. So let me swap off and go back. What I will run though is I'll run Queen Breaker. That way I can play from a range and then just shoot blinding bolts at people and that way we can maintain distance and still get the moth keeper blinds and i'll just run with uh should be okay with midnight coup still yeah double hand cannon's been working so oh wow i just got a god roll of lt's rifle head seeker and rewind rounds i'm keeping that good good do y'all have anti-barrier covered well? Because I might switch to a wave frame in that slot to help yeah, do that. care of things like this. Do that. Anti-barrier is no problems. Yeah, that's actually good for us. I mean, I do have indebted, so that is kind of anti-barrier in that sense, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more the merrier. And let's just pray that we get another early Tormentor. Okay. Other than that, though, I think we did extremely well. Like, we actually did phenomenal there. Just those invisible enemies are one thing I have to, to stop and prevent. So blinding them will, yeah. will stop them in their tracks. I feel like Hive is slightly easier just because you don't have that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're a bit tankier, but I'd rather deal with a tankier seeable target than this wild mm -hmm. rat-like invisible. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And they're quick too. This is a very, very fast, yeah. So it's hard to even put your sights on them. Uh, sometimes we get the reflex to stand on the ADU like we're capturing a zone, but it ends up being harmful because while trying to shoot at you, the ads hit the ADU as well. True! Yeah, because if we stand on the actual surface, they come to us. So, that could be a strategy we implement where we, we stay off of the base and still deal with them. Because we actually had shacks there too, so we could have actually played on shacks. We had two of them. Right, we had two yeah. shacks, so we could have just split up and just had them go to shacks and we would have been able to sustain there, I it really feel. really didn't matter, though. They didn't care about the shacks. <laughs> they did not. They said shacks who? No. <laughs> they didn't care about shacks, they just cared about killing they everything. They were super focused. <laughs> <laughs> they were very focused. That's why I don't stay on the ADU to draw fire away from the ADU. Yeah, that makes that makes a lot of sense. Hopefully this time we don't get those invisible ones and we get some hives, because then it's easier to drag them away. Well, we already know where we're getting hives. Yeah, so we should be alright now. Oh. Quick carry me. Okay. I'll grab... I'll grab these. Is that uh, on a rotator? Which enemies you get? I, I don't know. know. I believe so. I think it's on a rotation because I know on some maps, like Boss Dock, it'll change, I believe. And Moth Yard changes, from what I remember. But what I mean is, is it uh, on a rotator so that you can know ahead? What kind of enemies you get? Oh, I see you're saying. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna try and play smart. I don't. I don't think it is like that, is it? Yeah, you know what? I, I don't, don't think so. I think it's just random. Mm. Yeah. Rather than trying to sound smart and say I know, I'm just gonna play the ignorant and say nope. I don't know. Wait a minute, am I in the... Hold on, I need to... That's where I changed my loadout just a while ago, but... Am I still on... No regrets yeah, I'm on Moth Keepers. Well I was going crazy for a second there, I didn't see any moths come out, I'm like, am I... Right, one no. Okay, there we go, I was like, did I not change my build? I got scared. And we have invisibles. Oh. Yeah, we have invisibles. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to stay back here. One bomber down. Okay. And I can't move because I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'll and get the second bomber. Mine hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these mines are actually crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and... What the? Here yeah, we have guy bomber left somewhere. I'm gonna no? finish them off. No, we're good. Oh, that was close. I was definitely very close. We are definitely... Really low. Yeah, we're low on fuel though. Um, I got 4,000, so I'm gonna actually put uh, one decoy to the right where I'm standing. Yep. And yeah, I'm gonna yeah. save, save my 2k for the next run. Uh, T3 turrets should turn into rocket turrets or unravel on hit or something. Yeah, that would be a good perk. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, because right now what we have as far as turrets I think we were mentioning this earlier, LE2, that like the incentive to upgrade turrets over, let's say, a decoy, it's not necessarily there. Or even something like, you know, using your, your trip wires. Like, there's really no reason for you to trip wire because they're not that great. 
You want to fall back a little bit. We need to get all the batteries we can now. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely imperative. Okay, this will be fine right there. Yep. yep. Yeah, tripwire is applying freeze or a slow would be perfect, you know? Or even like a, a jolt or a, a blind would be nice. Just something. Maybe like phase two would, would jolt targets and then phase three you would maybe slow them. Like via freeze or something like that. But yeah, it would be nice to actually have some sort of ability to wear. To where you can actually utilize the trip wires without having to just be like, oh well, trip wires do this. Well they don't do anything. Just you just wasted fifteen hundred of your resources. They were just at around forty five percent. But when we come back it should reset. Well, it's not too bad. Does it reset every time you go into the pyramid, or just... No, just boss phases, right? Yeah, just boss phases, so yeah. My, my mistake on that one. So if we can make it the boss phase, we should be good. Which I think will be possible, we should, should be alright here. Yeah, we just play... Yeah, just play more, more defensive here. Yeah, I totally agree that tripwires having some effect should be the the norm, especially when you go full out. Just something to slow enemies down would be perfect. Like for to be example, honest, I don't really know what they do at all. I haven't seen any effect on them. I've seen them do a little bit of damage, but it's not mm -hmm. a lot. Right. It's, it's nothing substantial to where it's like, oh, you know, we gotta run this. This is like super imperative. Right. There's really no... To me, there's no real reason. Like, when they go gold, I think they just do, I guess, a lot more damage compared to normal damage. But it would be nice if it... Again, like Ellie said, if it slowed them or it froze them or jolted them. I own I only have 2,000 now. We've got 4,000. Uh, which one needs to be upgraded? I think this one to the far right needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. There you go. So next one should be Shax. Perfect. Let's go. Should be good enough for the time being to cover the right hand side, which means we can focus more on our left. Yeah, they're coming on the left side as well. Which is excellent. Which means, if they're coming from the left, you can go over there. Block out that choke point so they can't come through. That there is we're... what I'm doing. Excellent. Now we should be at about 50% now. So we should be good. One thing I would like to see, and that kind of goes... That kind of goes in tandem with what you were saying there, Ellie. Is let's say the turrets were able to to do one thing. Like things should have worked in tandem. Here. Okay. Like things should have worked in tandem. So like let's say the trip wires were to slow targets at the highest level of a turret, it would freeze them. So that it that way it works together. So one thing would do one one property, while the other turret, like another uh, weapon, would use another activity or another uh, ability. So one freezes, or one slows, one freezes. Way to go. Right behind us. Yep. Another battle won. There you go. On to the next fight. Oh, there we go, oh, perfect. Oh. Okay, uh, run <laughs> away. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lead him towards, I'm gonna walk him towards me. The shack is over here. Oh, and the invincibles, nice. Oh no. Okay, I'm walking over to me though. Try and hold it down if you can. Uh, one of you guys trying to walk to me I too. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I'm almost dead here. I'm trying to survive. Ooh, yeah, okay. We don't have an ADU. 
Oh no. <laughs> yeah, those guys are definitely yeah the invisible guys are definitely uh they're they're the bane now. Those hmm. are the the um, that is where you need uh, a tether hunter. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Those yeah. Guys would be would all be tethered. Actual facts. Yeah, tethering would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try. Do you want to have somebody run that? Um, I guess I could test it out. I got to ask Ellie for tethering advice because I have no idea what to do with that. Uh, I how would don't I have an optimal tether build, but I do have a tether build. Like, what would I do? Like, is, how... is, is Ellie available? I could hop out and, and let Ellie in instead. And then he could teach you. If that's okay, you don't mind that? Yeah, it, it's okay with me. Is that okay with you, Ellie? Or are you busy playing Helldivers? Because I know that Ellie usually plays Helldivers while I'm streaming. Or Last Epoch. Or worst case, we can just swap this okay. map and go to Vostok. Yeah, or, or we could run a, a normal one uh, while we wait for Ellie. Yeah, that can also work too. If you like. I want to try, try Legend though. Let's try Legend. Okay, let's yeah, go Legend. Yeah, let's try Legend. Let's try Legend Vostok this time. Because if those... Hold on, let me just check the enemy things. Uh, or rather the, the rules. Weekly boss, fallen. Okay, so this week I fall in war priest. Okay, so arc damage is effective this time. Uh, fallen vandal spawn a web mine. Okay. Hey, El Ellie, are you are you available right now, or do you need time? Just let me know. So Gramps uh, wants to hop off, maybe take a breather. No, not it, it's not that. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's I just... just meant that I could leave my spot for Ellie if uh, he would like to teach you play the uh, the tether world uh, uh, the hunter. Tether hunter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. True. I'm running some legend onslaught right now. Okay, in that case, that's fine. If you're running legend onslaught, then go for it. Just keep doing your thing. We'll uh we'll run we'll run our own legendary for now. But I think we're doing fine. Like I think if we yeah. you know I we think got so too. Yeah, we were doing excellent. I, I just think that those particular enemies were just a headache. Yes. So those are a problem for this uh, this setup. Right, exactly. If we had the hives like Cake said or Tyrion said, we would have been absolutely okay. Yeah, please, Ellie. Maybe, maybe off stream then, since we have access to the the MC. We can have a private uh, off stream chat. No limits here. This is a gauge of pure combat. Uh, so these are the same enemies, though. So I guess this week is just morons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I guess regardless of what what we do, it doesn't really matter. We can't escape the the pain. You have to just endure it. Okay, at least this part though is a little bit, I'd say, not easier, but it's slightly better since we have like a good idea of where things come from. And so, like for example, like I can play here, and then someone can play on that. Yeah, like where where Tahirin is, that can be like two high grounds. Yeah, and then let's say, Graham, since you're the Titan, you can be the more aggressive type, and you can maybe go down to the bottom, cover that spot. Yep. And then, yeah, that way we have three three angles covered. And then, of course, if they push us, then we can just kind of group together where we are. Mm -hmm. So, let's see where they come from left. Okay. This is, this is one of the reasons why I kind of like Vostok because because it gives us these angles to play with versus with Midtown we're kind of cluttered. 
and so our options are somewhat limited, especially when you have, again, big dummies like teleporters coming at us. And at least with tormentors, we have so much space to work with tormentors here too. Oop, I forgot that. Oh, can I grab this? Ooh, I got it in. Okay. That was a last minute shot. But I, I really hope they add more to this. Uh, this mode because I'll be honest I'm having a blast playing this like really really fun I love I love this logging off and then my brain's like man I want to go back and play it again because the strategy the like the one. element of, of depth that you can one. really implement is so vast and I'm just hoping they add more levels to it like give us more maps maybe uh, definitely that yeah I would look even more enemy types Yes, yeah, more enemy types would be perfect. And maybe more perk bonuses or modifiers that we can utilize would be cool. Just adding more to this. I, I don't know what it is really, but there is something about this horde mode that makes it so much more fun than the other horde modes they've had before. Yeah, it's... I, don't know what uh, I it is can't either. really put my finger on what it is, but there is, it just has something. Yeah, you're you're very right. Now, mind you, I haven't experienced the other horde modes that uh, have been in Destiny, but just playing this alone, it, it feels, it feels dynamic. It feels like there's always something happening. Versus other horde modes, I think it's very static. It, it doesn't really give you a lot of... I don't know, room for creativity to really experiment. But this one in particular kind of gives you a lot to work with. I think having the wave numbers, that that's perhaps what it could be. Like like the like Graham yeah, says. Yeah. Yeah. It could be one one reason, but there's likely a, a multiple or multitude of reasons why it's so fun but I, I personally just like the the variance and the creativity you can implement into a lot of your builds and you know each wave feels somewhat different in a sense and it's testing your patience is i don't know yeah like, like ram said even i can't think of a, a one solid reason why this mode is, is so fun but like, I can replay this all day. And the fact that I can run it solo, too, is another cool thing. Because now that I've you seen... Match, right? Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, I can, I can do matchmaking, but even just doing it completely solo would be, like, a challenge in itself. And I think that's the fun part, too, is coming up with a really creative build that's completely solo. That, to me, I think is the, the coolest part. That would be too much for me, I think. <laughs> no, really. I, yeah. I think I wouldn't be able to handle that. Yeah, it really is overwhelming though, I gotta admit. Just thinking about it definitely would be overwhelming. I've tried it. I've tried doing it solo and I got to like, like wave... Like wave... Uh, wave 5 or 6 or something. Ooh, destroyed there. You Ooh. But there's no stopping you. I know you'll be back. Hmm. Yeah. We get swarmed. Yeah. Ooh. It really gets bad when you can't see them, so they get up there and then they throw tons of maids that slow you down and make it even harder to see. Right. I wonder if that is a modifier for today. Have you checked the modifiers? 
I think there is a grenade modifier right now. Yeah, I I did read it out loud. I don't know if it was if it was reciprocated, but I'll read it again because it did say arachno, and um. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Just double check. So they they drop those mines. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so they mm -hmm. spawn a web mine at their feet. Uh, but we do and get fire pits. Right and fire pits exactly. So that's an issue. Mm. Uh, and we're all running grenade oh, launchers, I right? But uh, I'm. This isn't the legend, on. though. Well, let me run Legend Midtown again. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just a weekly boss and galvanized. That differs. Right. So, overcharged grenade launcher. So, if you run GLs on this one, we should be good. And swords, too, I guess. Or glaive damage is also a bonus. So, if, we, if all of us perhaps run a GL to do ad clearing, that could potentially be of good value for us. Which means I'll get off Queen's Breaker. I'll go back to Hollow Blue. And that way we can just do more damage output. And um, what did I run yesterday? I'll run Cryosthesia again because it worked yesterday where I just shot a like my strategy for Cryo was shoot the small ads, save the the freezing for the bigger guys. And that way we can just focus on the bigger one since it's frozen. We can just deal with it. So that can be an option. And since it's unlimited, I think it's a good strategy for us to run on midtown since i can block off chokes by freezing things slow the slow the pace down and thus give us a chance to regain because i know we can get to they have an eight good okay. grenade launcher to use though oh not a good one well to fit with the uh, build it hmm. needs to be uh, a strand one Gotcha. Very true. The synergize, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've also loved the other horde modes like on Mars, Escalation, or the Moon Altars. The yeah, Altars of Sorrow is actually yeah. kind of fun. Like even now. Like we were just talking about it earlier too, like going to altars to farm for things is always a, a good thing. Oops. So even altars at times I'll go back to and play myself just for the fun of it, because it is actually quite fun. <laughs> but this this mode is just different. This this is uh, maybe maybe it's because like you're building shacks up and you have to like really work together to get your scraps and you know, save currency, all these things come down to like, not mathematics, but it's more like intricate things that make this mode so fun. It's like knowing when to buy, not to buy, knowing when to go full in, to completely be, you know, reserved. It's yeah, just... that's the difference between uh, this and, and uh, the moon one, because the moon one is always exactly the same. Right, exactly. And that could maybe be the point you're trying to emphasize too, where like this is perhaps the biggest difference is this doesn't feel the same. It, there's always something you have to change up every single time. You can't just you can't just say, okay, we're going to focus on this part of the hive or this section is kind of like, no, we got to save up here. We can't spend too much on this level. Otherwise, we'll we'll fail on the you know, wave 40, you know. And speaking of change, it is high. Yep, it is. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> right. well, we will have fire pits going now. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be as bad. Oh, I'll take those over teleports all day. Oh. That's okay. No worries. I got you very soon. Try and cover the ADU. And ogres, I don't mind, even though they are annoying. I'd rather ogres than 
again, teleported, because I can see the ogre and it's big and slow. It's an easy target for me to just laser beam. Oh yeah, we got yeah, demolitionist on us here. Demolitionist and we have uh, eyeball to the right. Exactly, Ellie. Yeah, the added complexity is what makes it feel long and and rewarding, for sure. What three of them? <laughs> yeah, three demolitionists. They came through hard. <laughs> oh my! They came through extremely heavily there. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not used to being able to die in my rift, so that's <laughs> something I'm gonna have to <laughs> wrap your head around. About. Yeah. Yeah, these these things hit extremely hard and then just three of them all together is is really the challenging part. That's yeah, fine. This is this is like a good process of learning for all of us. Knowing how to deal yeah, with definitely. these Yeah, knowing how to deal with them with our builds is really the important part. Cuz we can change all we want, but if we change all the time, like how do we really have a concrete strategy, right? It's better to just stick with what we yeah. have and then Really think. Okay, how do we man how do we manage what we have? True, true. Yeah, I totally agree, Ellie. I think that's perhaps one of the biggest contributing factors as to why I love it is the complexity of it is what makes it so satisfying because you're always you're always constantly Enjoy thinking about what to do better. There's always a way to improve, and it kind of gives me the same feeling as a as a as a crucible or PVP where I'm always constantly thinking. Okay, how can I how can I improve this? Like, how can I get myself to a level where I'm landing better shots or my positioning is better? And the same thing can be applied to, to this mode because your positioning is just as important. You want to be able to position yourself to deal with specific targets or block off certain choke points to prevent enemies from targeting your ADU. So there's really a lot of depth and... Yeah, I just get a lot of joy from that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually save. Uh, did you upgrade the one to the right, uh, Gramps? No, uh, I just put one up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, better one for now. That way, next round we can just get the 35. Come from mid. I'll wrap around. Oddly enough, I don't really get upset. Even though we even though like we lose in this mode, it's I feel like right. yeah. I don't know. It's just Yeah, I don't get like annoyed. Like other modes I'd be like, oh man, like that was really, really annoying, but I feel like this mode, sure there are annoying targets to deal with, like the the fall and whatever, but I don't find myself thinking it's impossible or I don't know, what, I'm trying to think of the right word to use there, but I'm sure you get my point. One thing is just the way they spread out the loot is really nice. You're not really that worried about dying because you know you're still going to get something from it as long as you make it some way. Right, exactly. That's actually a good point. Pressure. Absolutely. Very good point too. Less pressure. The only real pressure is when you have to deal with the tormentor and stuff, but I mean that that's part of the challenge, which I like. It's part of the variance I can I can get used to. Okay, 
Okay, where are we at now? We're just... Oh. Uh, that one ran out last second there. So what is that beam? I guess that beam just beams down on the... Sky bomber. Okay. If you don't kill the sky bomber, that's what you get. Oh, gotcha. Okay. back here. I've got 4,000 here, so I'll upgrade the one on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. There you go. I only have 2,000, so I'll save it for later. Wonderful. Yeah, we can probably get this guy on the left-hand side, and that should cover our ground. I think the right-hand side is the best, because uh, if the Tormentor does come, I think covering him on the right is probably the easiest method. Yeah, they're all coming from where I just posted my super, so they, ha they have no way of coming through there. Good. Perfect placement. Yeah, thank you. Bomb crafting is awesome. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, I got my, my cryo here. Oof. Nice, good stuff there, Cake. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn up your voice just a little bit, just so I can hear you better. Uh, to hearin. Just do a test right. speech. Yep. Perfect. Much better. Uh, yeah. yeah. Testing. Much much better. Yeah, your your voice is a bit low on my end, so there are moments where I could hear you, but. Like, there were a couple words I couldn't hear that well, so now you were a lot better. Yeah, I was watching an old stream and noticed that I was super uh, soft-choking in it. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's why I had to make sure, because you, your, your voice is definitely very chill, like, you're not a very loud person. Which is a good thing. So it matches it matches our our energy usually gramps and i are kind of the same we don't really have a loud voice no <laughs> that's true yeah <laughs> perfect timing good stuff gramps i'm gonna throw a grenade over there and blind I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe here. I don't want to be too aggro and then die on the spot, so... Alright, sliding in home base. There we go. Well, that's another reason why I would be here. They don't freeze. You. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Very true. Okay, I've got 2700. seems to be a, a lot better for us. Oh yeah. Way better. Way, yeah, way better. 6, oh yeah, that's a that's a Shax. Maybe that one? We can get 3,500? Yep. Yeah, perfect. We should be alright for next round. I've got, I've got 705, so I have to save up for a few rounds. Ooh, I found a good spot to, to actually camp them. So they can't get me. Nice. That's great. Yeah. And that actually slows down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can't get it from here. And that way, cover is ground for both of you to kind of take it easy. Perfect. I'll just grab. Unfortunately, I couldn't grab any of the. ADU stuff, so I have to I have to calm that next time. 
got rest. him in the middle. Okay, coming back. Grab this battery. I'm from the, the uh, left-hand side now. I'm Saboteur. Okay. He's blinded, so it's okay. He's a bit slow. Unstoppable, okay. Nice. Very nice, excellent. Great clear. Not done yet. No, it is. <laughs> now we're good. Yep, guys on it. Hey, I'll go to the left. I should be able to cover it cover it solo. Yep, just got bummer dead on the left. Mine has help. <laughs> wizard. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'm the down. wizard. Okay. I'm not in this place. Yeah. Two wizards on me. No worries. I'll respawn in six. Okay. No worries. Witches are dead. One. Which we should be alright now. My super covered most of that. That pressure. We still need to get the Sky Bomber. Oh, I think I did. Oh, yeah, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go over the solo. I got him, I got him. Go, go. We got this. Done. Very nice. Excellent. Nice. Perfect. And our ADU is looking really healthy. We're only about, I'd say, 90%. So that's more than it's enough. It's 100% after this. But yeah, very true. Sorry. That's okay. But still, being able to see your enemies and being able to move against your enemies makes all the difference. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Moise, good to see you, man. How are you? How are things on your end nowadays? That? Oh, I guess it has to be speedy. It has to be fast. I guess. That's okay. All right, let's get the eyeball open and I'll... Okay, I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna hide behind the pillar. You guys can use the Got well. The well, if you want. Yeah, go ahead. I'll stand behind the pillar in the back. Yo, William. Good to see you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. A lot of warming up. But the warm-ups have been really good. And of course, unfortunate luck with uh, our enemies. Yeah, we should be dead. Or should be good, sorry. How about let's not be dead? Yeah. <laughs> Just another Freudian slip. Uh, do, oh, that's an, oh, that a shiny mountaintop? Give me one second. I might have to swap out. I did here. Uh, yes, it was a shiny. You okay, good. shiny? Yep. Oh, great. Rats. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. I have to make sure I grab that one before I forgot. I have got 3,000, so I think I will upgrade the decoy on the right. Mm -hmm. And that way I'll have enough for the next round. And we have a level two right here. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, this is actually a good one here. Okay, I'll run in. If there's anything that's far away, I'll be the one to run because I've amplified, so. Sure. Makes sense. I'll throw it back to you guys. Ah. Too many people in the valley for me hitting the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shooting still grants in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that was actually my mistake there. I forgot to throw it first. Hi. Okay. Go 
I'm trying to go from behind here. Ooh. Okay, I'll try and run back to you guys. I'm just trying to play from behind to cover different angles. Yeah, good idea. And Shaq's doing a pretty good job over here. Okay, we got a unstoppable here, but I'm just gonna super it. Just to take that tension away. There you go. Because I build my ability back fast, so I can get my super back pretty quickly. Oh, we have another eye here. Okay, take care of that. I know more. I know more, indeed. Ooh. Oh, well, oh. there's more of this. Okay, uh, let's back him away. I'm going to bring him back to... Uh, let's try and get him back to the shacks in the gold section. Let him come to me. If he does want to come Focus to me. On, on the small ads, then? Yeah. I'll try and get the ads over here. Try and get to me. Okay. Does not seem to be interested in you. <laughs> mm, I gotta be closer. Focus on that one. Yeah. And decoy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Try and get his attention. Come on. Come to me. Ooh, I'm gonna maybe die here. Yeah. I tried to jump back a little bit to get some space, but I got hoarded in the back. But I guess it's okay if you focus. Okay, you know what? Plan B. I'm gonna actually go inside the choke point where he's focused. So I'm gonna go to my left. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna go left and play here. That Let's way he can still. Melt him. What? My <laughs> yeah, we needed to take him out quickly because he was just sitting on the ABU. Yeah. yeah. So you know what the strategy don't... then is? Maybe don't put the the shacks there then. That way mm -hmm. we Maybe. can. What's well, a bit too close, I guess. Yeah, so I guess what we can do is just focus on the left and the right hand side and that way we can, one of us can just bait him into coming to the shacks and that way, like you said, uh, hey, two of you can just focus on dealing with the ad clearing. Yeah. That makes the most logical sense. Guess in that situation, I'll try to save my well until we have him baited somewhere else. Right. Right, that way you can yeah. just space yourself out. Good call out there. Saw the first episode of Fallout. Really good show. Nice. Have I seen oh, it? Oh yeah, Fallout. It's great. Does it, live with, does it live with the expectations? Oh yeah. Absolutely. You may have to. Is that on Amazon Prime mm. or? Mm, yeah, I think it is. I might have to resubscribe then and check it out. Enjoy yourself, Guardians. Does it follow the same? Does it follow the same procedure or not procedure? But does it follow the same storyline as the the games, or is it different? It it's uh, a whole own story, but uh, it it is very true to the Fallout world. Nice. I may check it out then. But it just released too, right? So maybe one here then? Yes, yeah. This this should be our main focus. This one and then this one here too, since they're both covering the right. So worst case scenario, if Tormentor comes to this one, that's fine. And then best case, he comes to the far one. And then that way I can play like over here. And then two of you can I shoot would... from behind. I would only do the outer ones this one yeah. and that one. Yeah, I think so too. True. Two is probably enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, in that Left case. Side. Okay. My mistake on that then. No worries. We're all learning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This Again, this is exactly why I love it because there's always a new strategy to implement. Yeah, I'm definitely learning. This is my first real hard try at legend difficulty so and i'll be very honest playing le playing legend versus normal like normal i can turn off my my brain and we can easily do it but i, I love i love the stimulating factor of really being alert and legend tests me to really see if my 
my build is, is sufficient enough. Not to discredit those who love normal runs. Nothing bad about it. I don't know. Just think Legend really gives you a, a real taste of what your build has to offer and whether or not yeah, you could... you absolutely get the challenge. Yeah, you get the challenge and you get a... You, you get, get a... more loot if you get to level 50. Exactly, which is going to happen next week. <laughs> so next yeah, week... Yeah, but I mean, if you, if you get to 50 in a normal, you get more loot than if you just get to, say, 10 on Legend. Very true. Me to bring you along the next Very true. So there, there are pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so. to be entirely honest, the the loot comes anyway. Right. It's just a question of time. Right, an investment. Right. Yeah, it's whether you you the player are you know invested enough and are willing to do all of those things. <laughs> To go through the hassle, or not hassle, but the challenge rather of trying to do a legend just for the sake of bragging rights. But then you can also just do normal if you want to just, you know, have a nice simple journey. No complaints. I'm willing, I'm willing now to test myself because I've already completed normal several times, so I really want to test my wits. And since we're all experienced and we're all strategizing now, I think it's all the more better. Doing root carries right now? Already got five people the gun? Let's go, man. That's awesome. Very nice stuff, Jay. Love to hear that. That's the type of stuff I love to hear. Getting people to what they want. It's perfect. How it should be. Just give me a heads up when the enemies show up. I'm just going to delete some things on my inventory. Yep. Drop their back. Mid. Okay, give me one second here. Okay. It's Sorry. mostly exploding chunks, so... I think it's just one of those bonus rounds. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh, we got something on the ADU. Took care of it. Perfect, okay. One of them snuck around the other way, I guess. Yeah, you gotta be Left sharp. Side. Yeah. They're in viz. In viz, alright. Oh. I'm gonna try and freeze them if I can. I don't die here. I'm supering. Nice, good super there. Okay. My GL just fires too slow. Which one are you using? Uh, the one from Death to the Deep. Okay. Oh. Trauma just said, you can blind it here. We got an overload. Okay, I'll revive you here. I got my super, so... Nope. Is done. I'll get the batteries just to be safe here. Nice. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Oh. Well, we pulled that off. That was a good test to see if we were able to deal with the invisibility morons again. Yep. Um, by the way, those grenades can be shot if you have time. You can shoot yep. them and stop them from going off. The Very mines, true. you mean? Right? Yeah. The mines. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just give me one moment. I'm just trying to delete a few things here. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't delete this one. Give me one sec while I... Put one thing away. I'm trying to unload a few of these... Little things that I have that I don't really need to carry. Okay. Alright. I'm with you guys. Sorry. No worries. We got this. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the easiest part, I'd say. So. Mm -hmm. It's like a moment to breathe and chill. Yep. Reevaluate. Really, reevaluate our life decisions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
I'm gonna throw double blinding. Just so I can activate my amplified. Try and slide the home. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm backing up. A little bit here. I'm gonna slide in the home base. Oh, I tried to slide in the home base. Boom. Oh. I just clutch it out there. All right. Now what do we have here? We have... I have 4,600. We'll... Yeah, me too. I'll upgrade this one, the outer one here. Okay. And then... I have uh... 66. Oh, definitely upgrade the one that uh, Gramps is doing into Shacks. I've got yeah. the outer one here. Perfect. So yeah, now in the event that we get Tormentor, I'll just play on the outer rim, and you guys can play on the inner rim. Sounds good. What was the gun again for for uh, for root? Was it conditional, uh, Jay? It's conditional finality, right? That shotgun. Mm -hmm. Just, just over 50% here. Right so, side. Okay. I'm gonna block off here, just so they don't push us. I'll grab these ADU batteries. It's fine. Revive. Another battle won. On to Thank the next you. fight. No problem. Shielded sky bombers. Yep. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you guys cover that for now. I'm gonna try and grab these batteries to refresh. Okay, I'm gonna freeze them. One's frozen. Okay, I'll cover the sky bomber. With uh, Gramps over here. Mm -hmm. I'll do my best. Over need, here. Yeah, if you need help, just let me know. I'll come back. Oof. Okay, I might need to. I might need to help myself. Hold on. I'm running back with you. I'm right. I'm here. I'm here. Hey, the youth getting real low. Yep. Get some batteries here. Oof. That explosion might cook the... us. Now we gotta work on getting the sky though. bomber. Yeah. Oh, and the sky bomber. I mean. Yeah. Their weak spot is activated now, so yep. this is good for us. Ooh. Oof. It's so angry. <laughs> Yeah, quite tanky too. Even with two people running, boss wave. <laughs> oh, nice! Watch that on the last second. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> with a with a broken ADU. Oh no! Wait, did you, guys, did you guys go through the portal? I went I through. Yeah, I didn't get there in time. Ah, uh, so I think what happens if if two of you get through there, I think it still counts. I could oh. have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's actually that was good, though. So close. We definitely clutched that. Very clutch last second. <laughs> okay, let's keep going, though. I, I think we're honestly, we, we have this. It's just. We are it, getting better. Yeah, we're getting a lot better. I mean, the first run we did, we actually have. We did the best on our first run, the wave 18. So I know we can easily get to a higher one. So now that we have a good feel of the rhythm, 
and we now know the placements of the right uh, equipment and decoys, we, we're and, getting better at that. And as long as we have fun, which I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> same, same. Me too. Yeah, like yeah. I said, I don't, I'm not feeling annoyed. Like this is actually really, really good practice and a lot of fun to just see our improvement, see like the this evolution. Because our I strats are a lot of times for me, the key to fun isn't what I'm doing, it's who I'm doing it with. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's Absolutely. True. Absolutely. And because we're all just very chill, like no one's yelling, saying, Oh, you gotta do this. Sir. Come on, go over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bear that. Yeah. Because it, it drives it makes you more like stressed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, it's kind of like that boss or manager or like down your throat. Like, oh, did you do this? Did you do that? It's like, come on, man, just give me some space. Should we do this one then? It's the furthest from the ADU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one definitely is good. Perfect. Yeah, then next round I'll, I'll, I'll upgrade it. Okay, that's an excellent point, though, uh, to hear and it's just... It's always the right people. You know, the people are what make runs the runs they are. Like, even if it's a raid or anything, the right people really do determine the outcome. Because mm -hmm. you can have a whole team of, of elite players, but if they have egos, good luck. Yeah, a lot of people think div carries are just the worst thing in the world, but... I've been on three div runs, and all of them have been great experiences, even though they were often very long. Yeah. Because mm. everybody had a good attitude, and was glad to be there. And... That's how it should be. Everyone should be happy to participate, and willing to help one another. That's Otherwise, our progress. Yeah, exactly. Progress comes not from arguments, but from, you know, finding agreement, finding a middle ground. We may not agree on everything, but that's totally fine because that's what kind of gives us the ideas for more strategy. Alright. Overload on the ADU. Yeah. Yeah. On that one. Well that was one guy sneaking up. Sky bombers as well. Okay, I'll. Okay, I go for the sky bomber there. Me and Grants will cover the base. Okay. Got overload for our captain on the base here. Oh, I just blew myself up there by accident. Got a bit too close. Okay, I'm back in 16 seconds. Hopefully... Oh, I get fuck. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a rough one there. Me dying there was a little bit unfortunate. I'm gonna try to re I'm gonna try and salvage here. No, no, it's a little too late. I, I should have come back early. No, 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 it's, it's not. It's not your fault. It was honestly, it was just slight mistakes there. Me dying there was just an unfortunate scenario because Gramps was alone, and the pressure on him was too much because they yeah. all came at the time that I died. Oh, had I stayed alive there, we would have been okay. You, you, were, you were totally fine where you were. It's no stress there. Yo, what's up, Dio? It has been a long time. How have you been? I was actually thinking about you the other day. I'm like, where's Dio been? I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Why do you say that? I just taught everyone in your great your raid group. That's great. That's awesome. I love to hear that. It feels good to have someone who can teach, and from that teaching, it's 
you know, you, you see, again, just like what Graham said, you see the improvement, and that's the most important thing, is the growth. If you're not seeing growth, then you're not having fun. And I think, to me, what makes the game fun is the growth. Like, that's, they're, they're, they work in tandem. When, you, when you're stagnant, your you, you're likely more to complain because you're, you're not seeing any changes. Versus when you're seeing change, you're seeing the improvements being made, you're like, wow, like, wow, this is actually working. Like, you want to keep playing to, you know, optimize better. Speaking of optimize, now we can maybe optimize our our plans here with the hives. Ooh, I might die here. I wish it's... No, you're not. <laughs> I almost did. That witch was lasering me. Fire team said no. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not today. Not on our watch. Not your day to die. <laughs> not today, comrade. They're all pros now, actually. They're all they are switching roles too. Wonderful. Yeah, I love to hear that. Again, I'm I'm all about growth, man. When I, when I see improvement in others, it inspires me to do the same. And vice versa, when others see me improving, it inspires them. It's, it's what motivates us. We got eyeball on the right hand side too. Eyeball dead. I'm gonna grab the uh, battery here. So they're coming from mid. I'm gonna try and wrap around. You guys cover the front, I'm going to cover the back. Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. Good stuff. Okay, left hand side. That is totally different from your raid group. We have to play right here. Okay, cool. All right, uh, I'm gonna play behind him. I'm gonna try and lure him over here. Oh yeah, good call, good call. Yeah, lead him towards where Gramps is. Ooh, Perfect. We have, uh, we have ogres. Ogres, yeah. okay. Ogres with the ogres. Okay, I'm gonna dead. Is he? Coming back in the way here. I'll try and go for. Oop. Okay, yeah, they're all all on spawn. Yeah, like four or five of them came. I need to be used well there so I could just tank and kill them. The good thing though is at least the Tormentor is being distracted, so that's a good sign. So, very good job there for... Thank you. I got super here, I'm gonna super on one base here. I'm gonna grab battery to restock. I'm gonna grab heavy behind you guys, and I got pushed oh. off the map. I got yeeted off the map, so. Same. Okay, that's not bad though. You're keeping him up. You're keeping him busy off of the. Okay, just back off. Have, have him back away a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I get him off the ADU. Yeah, excellent. Perfect. Yep, good job, Grants. Yeah. Yep, perfect. Yeah, me, me and um, Cake will take care of the back side. You can take care of the front. Front is the damage side. Unfortunately. Yeah. Same. yeah. I'm gonna hit the crit spots. Okay, I'm gonna blind them. Give him them. We should be good. One last hit. We should be good for us. Excellent, guys. Oh, Wonderful. Yeah, nice. Wonderful. What the that was a clutch round. 
that round was definitely clutch. We came out on top there. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very well done. All right. So that one is... Okay, 6,000. Um, I need to get another one. I have literally 4K, so maybe I should just save up for the shacks at the front then. Yeah, save. Yeah, I'll save I for spent all mine to get. Okay, no worries then. Oh, like light. Okay. How <laughs> new falling off the map and saying, screw you! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so lame. Oh, gotta hide behind us. Alright, I'm gonna stay on base. I'll keep an eye on things. You guys can focus on that. Since I've got the speed, just let me know where batteries are and I'll grab them. Over to the right. Okay, there's one all the way. That's a four second one. It's a bit too slow on the... I think of that one. But I'll back away. I'll just stay on base. Just point me to the direction of... Okay, there's one in front of us, so I'll grab that. Grab this one too. I'm gonna blind in the center there for you guys. Blind again. Problem. Just grabbing more orbs for my super. Okay, I'm gonna grab all these batteries. Over. Okay. I'll cover batteries again. I'll throw my grenade to blind it. I help you guys a little bit here. Oh no, never mind, you guys covered it. Perfect. Very, very nice. Excellent work. <laughs> this is a gauge good run. Very, very good run there. And we got Tormentra done, which mm -hmm. is perfect. So that's amazing. This is superb. So you got kicked out after your first try, you cried for days. Yeah, I can imagine. Feel, like It feels bad to get kicked out of a group for trying your best. It's like, come on, man. Like we're trying to learn here, you know? But like I said, you know, when you, when you have a group of egos, not healthy. That's why it's good to just be humble and realize that, look, even the pros have to learn. Even the masters continue to refine, not just, oh, I know, and that's it. Because well, they don't stay masters. Exactly. Exactly. They do not stay masters for too long. <laughs> Jay will carry. <laughs> Is what they call a righteous yeah, you've been doing very good, Jay. You've been doing awesome. I have 6,000, so Shax is here. And I have upgrade purpose. There you go. I have only 2,300, so I'll save up. No problem. Nobody's going to kick out their member because of failure? Yeah, I, I would never do that. Failure to me is a stepping stone towards real success. You don't succeed by just succeeding. Like, you learn more from your failures than you do your successes. Not to say that success is bad, but you feel a greater sense of accomplishment when you when you you fail and you grow from that failure and then you succeed as a result of it that's that to me is real true success because the truth is anybody anybody can succeed but no not many people are willing to fail for it there's a difference you know most are willing to just say oh yeah i'm successful Sneak behind our back, huh? Okay. I think you're sneaky, Mr. Man. Very <laughs> sneaky. Oops, forgot to dash there. I saw one time the member got kicked out because that one being toxic about financially in real life. Wow, really? I mean, come on, like, not everybody is in the most. Uh, in the best position, you know, we live in a, an economy now where things aren't necessarily easy. 
So to kick someone because of their personal life is, again, as I said, ego is not a healthy thing to have, especially in scenarios. The tides are probably playing yeah, if they don't to deal with that. Yeah, right exactly. Then. Yeah. It's, it's like, how, how dare you even pick somebody for something they have no control over? You know, life is filled with ups and downs, and if you're just gonna... If you're gonna pull that person down because Number of their circumstance one. in real life, Onto you the are probably the, the worst person out of them. Like that's the irony. The irony is like they're they're struggling, but you being Frank. the ego, perfect gal, pop my super you. You having the ego is far more detrimental than that person struggling in real life because that struggle is temporary. Your ego can haunt you for the rest of your life, and that can be really bad. Very nice job. Good luck to doing us today. Wonderful, we're just at about 85% now. I'll grab these ones on the Very other nice. side. Back from the ruin. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Back from the ruins. But again, this is proof, right? This is what this is what failure did to us. It, it made us resilient, right? Mm -hmm. It made us have to like reanalyze every single time we, we failed. It's like, yeah, sure, it's one step back, but then we make two steps forward in, in advancement. And that to me is a huge W. Right. Oh, my, oh, financially toxic? Asking money from other members from the raid group? Oh. But I mean, if, if, if they're having financial struggles and you have a team that is supportive, I'm then... Uh oh I have no heavy, because the banner glitched and didn't give me anything. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'll try and slow down, then. No, I, I interacted with it. It just didn't work. It wasn't your fault. Okay. I have no idea then. That's Bungie being Bungie, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna play super safe here. Uh, can I crit you at least? Stop moving, witch! Stop moving! Oh, the worst position to be in where I can't see you. There we go. If one of you is brave enough to go for the checkpoint, uh, or not checkpoint, rather, the uh, the star. Oh, there we go. Just as I said it. Good stuff to hear in. Yeah, I didn't have any heavy, so I figured that was the best thing I could do. Yeah, that was great. That took down a lot of the health, which is even better now. That is a no-no by a raid group. Most of the time, you can make interactions, especially with finance. Yeah, I, mean, I guess it depends on the situation, right? Like, if it's something that is, is you know, uh, too too frequent, then sh okay, I get that. But if this person was genuinely in trouble and they needed some help, like, having people in your group to be supportive, I think, is really important. But if it's a, if it's a way that they're using or taking advantage of other people, then that's, yeah, that's a no for me, for sure. Good well. I might actually need that. Pretty low on ammunition here, but we should be all right to clear this. I got my super, but I'll save it. Art. Nice. Perfect. Excellent. I get right next. Right go. Let's go. Congrats. What? Did I miss something? Oh. I said I hit season like 200. Oh, grats! Mm, congratulations on that. It's a dub. Literally. Double. <laughs> yeah, a dub. <laughs> yeah. Massive dub. Huge dub on that. But yeah, hey, hey, Dio, I, I totally get what you're saying, though. I, I, I understand completely. Like, you, you wouldn't want your raid group to be something that 
is purely focused on the financial aspect because you know it is a game ultimately but again if if somebody was truly genuinely struggling in real life i would definitely not decline them it's just that if it was too frequent that's different right okay i got 4k so i'm gonna go for the same strategy as before go for this on the right hand side for yeah I got 5,000. Which one of us can upgrade it to Shaft? I can upgrade it to 3, 5. Okay. There we Excellent. Go. There you there go. There we go. Perfect. Time to get the order right. Yeah, that's going to be the, the most important, is the ordering. Actually, the order wouldn't have mattered because I had 5,000 as well, so... Ah, but... very nice. True. Yeah, I froze them all down there, so they should be alright. Perfect. Great. Oh, they're coming from what angles now? Okay, well, I'm gonna put it right in this from everywhere. area. Oh <laughs> my gosh, come on, you stupid sign! No way! <laughs> <laughs> that is most unfortunate. Oh my gosh, I meant to put it down right in between those chokes, so that way they couldn't... Uh, they couldn't attack us. That happens to me on Tether all the time. Gosh, man. Heartbreaking. <laughs> Actually heartbreaking seeing that happen. It's fine, though. We'll recuperate. <laughs> man, can, can you send me 15,000 Glimmer? Lately, I'm having financial <laughs> difficulties. I'll pay you back. <laughs> I swear to the Traveler. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> May I have a small loan of a million glimmer, please? <laughs> Just a small one. <laughs> I'll put you back, don't worry. Is it a, is it a barrier? Yeah, it is a barrier. Yep. Couldn't really tell. Okay, I'll grab these. Okay, let me just grab uh, some heavy first. Oh! I'll I'm try and gonna take... super here. Okay, go for it. Let me know if you need well. Should be good for now. Uh, I'm gonna go try and take care of A, or B rather. Oh, I missed the heavy. Dang. Or did I? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I don't think I got it either. I don't think I did. Could have just timed out. Mm, no, it shouldn't have timed out if no one opened it. Yeah, it might have been me then by mistake. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Water on the bridge, right? Yep. Yeah, we got this. Yep, we got this. Heavy or no? Okay, just give me one sec while I deal with this over. Going for A. Okay. Just to prolong the timer a bit. Should be good I here. Don't have anything to take care of the ogre? Oh, I wasted my oh, super. Oh, I did. Actually, I did. <laughs> I just fat fingered my super, but that's... what the? What? Why did I die oh, there? My. Did I we take too long? Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Even though, mm -hmm. um, well, I was gonna say even though I don't we're know why armor, I actually died. Well, I stood on the mine. Yeah, so. same. I stood on it. Like, you shouldn't explode if you're on the mine. You should be able to still... Right, right. ...bring right. it down. I guess the timer just ran out. Yeah, you have to capture it before the timer runs out. Yeah, that makes sense. Might be. So. It's okay. Anyway. Yeah, fortunately... Anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fortunately... Yeah, alive. Right, exactly. You were alive for us, so that... Yeah, that really helps. I was on the mine right before it blew up. I stepped off just in time. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> I guess that was fate. Maybe. Yeah, I'll get the splinters for us. Thank you. No worries. 
All right, this time I won't I won't touch the, the heavy unless you guys need it. Oh. Okay. Should be all right here. Oh, just need the batteries. Okay, and now I'm using heavy because I'm running low. So. Thank you. So you got about. I think hey, I'm grabbing heavy. Yep, me too. Okay. There, rushing. Okay, I threw a blinding grenade in there, so. Yeah, I'm supering. Okay. I got my super, I'm gonna save it though, because you just use yours. Got, got an unstoppable here, I'm killing. Okay. Got him though, so no worries. Nice. I need to go to rank 10. Yeah, that was my goal. Like, I really want to get to a higher rank. I was just talking about it earlier, actually, how I really wanted to get to, like, at least rank 8 or rank 9 before the end of the season for Final Shape. So, once I get my weeklies done for Lightfall, I should be set up and ready to go to level 8 at least, which I'm happy about. Yeah, I would like to go to level 8 too. So I only I need to do two raids. Oh! Then no, I'm I, done. Does it does it count? I'm sorry to cut you off there. Does it um? No worries. Does it count if you do, let's say, just the end part of the raid? It should count, right? I don't know. Because hmm. what I was thinking was, if you just needed to do the end part of the raid, we can probably do like let's say, like a root of nightmares or something. End end it's, raid. It's too specific though. Oh, okay. uh, it's Root of Nightmares and... Well, I don't remember the other one. Okay. Maybe Vault of Blau? No. It's not one of the old ones. Broda? Yeah, it might be. That would be the two newest ones. Mm. It makes sense. This is what they call and that's that's to get to level 8? Yep. We're, if we're in the same rank... No, that, hang on. That's to get to level 9. Yeah, level 9. Right, because if you're on 7 like me, then all you would need is to get the uh, weekly missions done for Legendary. Yeah, that's true. That's all I have to nine. do for renewing my 8 is two vendor bounties. Or, like, vendor challenges, rather. And I'm just too lazy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, I have 6,000, but I'm, I'm sitting on it because I think having shacks on uh, the right hand side is enough. Yeah, me too. I have 5,000, so. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold, hold off for now and uh, I'll throw a thing back to you guys. Mm -hmm. I'll pass it along. Okay. Right, in this case, I'll just come back. Yep. Where are they coming from? I've got super ready still, so we should still be all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right go from side. behind. Yep, yep. Right I'm gonna, side. I'm gonna go from behind here and, and block them off. That works. Ooh. Oh. How I survived that, I have no idea, but I'm coming back. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good that you survived, and good that you're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> I saw those witches, and I saw, like, three of them, and I just blasted as much as I could, and I said, all right, I'm on red. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm like, oh, one. <laughs> well, luckily, I had amplified at, se at that second, too, because if I didn't, I think I would have died. Got a barrier here. Okay. Very nice. No more? No more barriers. Shielded Demolitionist. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, and they're witches, of course. It's fine. I have my super, so... Nice. Good. Good super there. Yeah, I'm supering too. Perfect. Yeah, I just cover our ground. If we have to, I'm we have to. Okay, I'll grab batteries. 
I'll grab orb two to have my super ready. Watch behind you, uh, Kieran. Okay, got you. There's just three Watch explosions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you weren't in the well there, I think he would have <laughs> actually blown up. I think I, I, I would have been dead. duped there. Oh. Even in my well, it almost killed me. Because <laughs> I was trying to pick up um, uh, a tangle. Yeah. But I, I got the ball instead. Best your opponents and survive. Oh, perfect. Victory is a matter of will. Now it's just a matter of practicing it to get the, the rhythm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, we're in the in the boss for it already. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty. Hey. Let's go. We've Progress. already hit. Progress. Yep. Milestone reached. Mm-hmm. Ooh, wave 41 legendary. Let's go, Ellie. Let's go. I stand by the door, I guess, to signal you're ready. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. Let's go. Okay. Uh, probably a bit too slow. Did I miss one? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Not all three were hit there. It looked like you did. Yeah, I thought so too, but hey. <laughs> it's okay. It's no big deal. Are you running it with Gegman, uh, Ellie? Is it you and Eggman running it? This one's a little bit trickier for me because it's he's just walking left and right. I got a good shot in his crit. Let me grab some of these orbs. Watch out, watch out. Well, mm -hmm. it's over. Thank you for the call out. Yeah, he's coming toward us. I'm backing away a little bit here. I'm going for super here. Okay. And yeah, walking into your rift there. You hear him? Thank you very much. I was hoping you would do that. Yeah. Coming back from super. Okay. And I'm backing away just a little bit. I have well again. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Great. Okay, I'll come with you folks. I have my super ready very soon, but I don't think I'll use it here because we're pretty close to winning. And one more. Perfect. Excellent. I'm actually loving Mountaintop right now. Mm -hmm. An amazing GL. Gotta say that. Definitely doing better than that wave frame that had some good super deep. When you're around, yeah, my own top just hits so different. Such an amazing weapon to have. And with the right rolls, you're just you're on cloud nine with that. I just got a Borkle Surrounded roll on Falling Guillotine. Let's go. Nothing but dubs today for everybody. Let's go. I'm loving that. Nice, nice. Love to hear it. Good rolls, good run. Life is good. Yeah, it's going real good right now. Absolutely. And I got 9k. I, I think I think this one. This it is one right pretty, here? Yeah, I think it's so. It is pretty far away, so. Okay, I'm gonna go for the one on the right hand side again. I still have four thousand. You want me to upgrade that? Uh oh yeah. I have 1500, so. Yeah, yeah, I just oh, get I this. Can't. I can't do it now. That's fine. You know what? I probably should let you do the upgrade first, and then I would have done it afterwards. So that's that's on me. I still have three thirty-five hundred though. So. Oh, damn. It's okay. No worries. Ooh. Sorry about cursing. No, no, no. Damn is totally fine. I hit all the wrong buttons there. I got you. No worries. Did super you still? No, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank that you, that you. that super is just too good. Just covers every angle that we need. And I just picked up your strand, oh. by the way. Yeah, it's all right. I thank only needed have. to make my build work, so it's fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Very true indeed. 
<laughs> a very polite way of saying, don't do that next time. <laughs> I will definitely stay away. Oh, you're fine. I'm just kidding. I know, I know. Yeah, it's we're always poking fun at each other. Okay, I gotta come back to base and help out here. I've got no heavy then sadly, so I can't help in that degree, but I'm gonna I'm gonna grab heavy, so you got about 14 seconds left on the clock. Going for heavy. Barrier in mid. Okay. Okay, I'm getting barrier here. Nice. Good. Very nice. Oh. Okay, we're just under 50%, so we're gonna have to play it's super. Bummer. Okay, uh, you guys cover the ogre. I'm gonna try my best to. Okay, you know what? Ogres are coming from the right. Yeah, they're coming gonna... everywhere. Yeah, I'm backing away here. <laughs> Maybe That's where we have to go for the sky bomber, too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for sky bomber here. I'm gonna play uh, a bit brave. And I'm gonna go for it. I'm going solo here. Oh my gosh, of course, the one time I tried to go solo and he brought his friend with him. Okay, try and cover for now. I'm back in uh, 16. Coming for you. Okay. I've got super, so this I can expedite the... Yep. Okay, right. there's, there's a suit. I'm going to throw battery back towards you guys. And... We're gonna try and survive here. It's gonna be tough. I'm trying to solo him, but he's got my my number here. Okay. I'm gonna solo. I got your rift right behind you. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, he he zapped me. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Hold three, we still have just under a quarter. Okay. Should be enough. Coming I'm gonna run back. back. The battery. Same. I'll make it in time. I've got about. To, if you wanna uh, drop yours, I'll do it. Well, that works too. Oh, sorry. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Can I do it in time? Yes. Good. Okay. Well awesome. That's All right, I got 5k now. So. 5k should okay. I'll run forward. I'll run forward and grab that. Just try and cover me while I go in. Oops. Okay, I'm throwing it back. Forward base. Nice. Good cover there. Back running back. There's about 17 seconds left on the one I have to do back. I'm going to go for it and dupe it. Okay. So we're just at around, just under 50%, but we're, we're okay. You got a speed wave? On the left. Okay. Gonna blind. Blinding again. Going super. Okay. Got no more heavy ammo, but I'm gonna push in here. I'm gonna grab batteries. Coming back. Very nice. Keeping back. Blinding. We've got super here too, just in case if we're in trouble. We've got a barrier. Barrier, barrier yeah. Perfect. Very nice. Battery's coming through. And there's the last one. Perfect. And we are wonderful. And then Whoa. ADU is just over 50 now, so we should be nice. And yeah, let's pick up uh, heavy. Oh, yeah, true. I'm full, so. Okay. okay. Now I wasn't full there, so that was a good call out. Gameplay boy, good to see you, good to see you. Good to have you. And yeah, Dio, what you said earlier is true. Uh, you need the Crota Nightmare Raid 
in the Dungeon for Ghost Deep and Warlord for uh, level 9. Which I feel like I've already done. I've done Ghost of the Deep already. I haven't done Crota though. But I imagine I can probably just do the, the end of the mission. I don't have to like run through the whole entire raid. I can just maybe checkpoint the end of the mission and it probably still counts as completion. Although there will be a time where I should do a full run of it just to get a feel for the actual raid itself. Blinding. Blinding again. Okay, I'm gonna slide it home. Going for the home run here. Oh. That shouldn't stop. I should just go in home run. There we go. Yep. Good. Well done. Well done, well done. Alright, so now we can definitely upgrade uh, shacks here. I've got 7k, so. I'm good I got this 5k. One. I'm good. This is good. I'll what save it. I'll, I'll save for next one. Uh, okay, well, I almost have 8,000. Perfect. I will. Nice. But I can. Uh, I'll grab a turret here just for extra firepower. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll upgrade it. Oh, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit too late, it's fine. I'm mid. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna run behind. I'm gonna grab uh, the ADU bats. Just try and cover me for now. I've got super. Ooh, one guy on the ADU who killed me. Okay. He's what? Behind you, oh. Got him. Okay, I might die here. Maybe, maybe not. Supering, just in case. Landing. Getting a battery to refresh, just in case. Stooping. Very nice. Awesome. I'll grab cool. Pyramid here. Yep, good. You, you got Pyramid? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, anything that's too far away, I'll do it because I'm amplified, so you guys can cover. Okay, done. We have a couple Thanks. witches coming through. I'm gonna cover witch on the oh, left. Yes. Okay, one witch is done. I'm gonna wrap around. I'm gonna try and cover their angles on the back ends. Thank you for that healing. Oops. Okay. I'll bring the choke point here. Another witch, which I'll cover. Two witches, barriers on uh, coming through on choke, but he's yep, perfect. Very nice. Yeah, covering the, those angles is honestly amazing. Wonderful, just wonderful job there. Sky bombers. Oh, going for the low. left one. Okay, I'll I'll hold off on base here. If you guys want to run together, I'll, I'll try my best to hold down the fort. Oh, I got... Oof. Okay, I'm trying my best to not die here. Ooh. Okay, I'm I... in trouble here. <laughs> oh, and it's wave 29. <laughs> I walked around the corner and there was many... Back in there. five seconds. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I'm just gonna gather batteries here. I'm up at three, so don't bother getting me. One okay. sky bomber down. Okay. Going for the left one. Yep. Grabbing heavy ammo just in case. I'm gonna run after the uh, the orb on the right hand side if I can get it. I have a few seconds left on the clock, and I've got, got it. The one. Okay. Coming back to base, gonna dupe. Okay, I got super ready now too, just in case. Oh. Don't worry, I'll come to you. Okay. Very nice. Hey. Okay. Let's go. No, we're on both. New. Yeah, thank you, thank <clears> you. <throat> Let's go. Very good job. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, so let me just change Rest weapons here. And survive. Victory is a matter of will. 
Yeah, that was definitely a clutch save there, Ellie, for sure. I had to just play it patiently yeah. there. And it was. <laughs> Sorry, hang on, I'm going to mute this. Yeah, no worries, go for it. Okay, I'll double check. My throat. Yeah, it's okay. So let's see. Uh, same loadout's fine. Let's see. You know what? In this case, I might go with Malfeasance just for the added damage. And let's do the same strat. Good idea. Yeah, let's run the strat that uh, Cake said to stand near it if you're ready. Okay. Let's go. Okay, this is Ogre. Ogre off. Three, two, I'll pop immediately. one. Okay, perfect. Okay, reinforcements is perfect. We're on the same spot, which is great. Nice. I was hoping for that. Yeah, that's actually a really, really good spot for us to be in now. Okay, backing away a little bit. Well, I was going to run out, so I'm going to mm -hmm. slide back. i got to be careful because he's coming my way. Yep, he's coming his way. Yep, I'm running away from him. I'm running away too. Yep. Trying my very best to stay alive. Same with me. Jumping badly because I'm a python and I'm not <laughs> used to it. <laughs> yep, I'm running away. I am running as far as away as I can go. Okay, I'm running toward the second reinforcement spot. We yeah, have perfect. Nice, well, perfect. Nice, well. Very, very nice. This is more than enough Super for us. Ranked. Perfect. Getting out of that fire. Yep. Oh, I am out of here. Game blinding. Five seconds on the well. Okay. And he's dead. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Very, very nice. Hey, good job. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. This is officially go. the farthest I've ever gotten in Legend. Let's do it. I'd love to hear that. That's a, that's a dub for all of us. Yeah. Massive milestone. We went from 20 all the way back up to where we are now. That's that's amazing. Let's do that, baby. I love that. I love that. Just the, the sound of success after failure is very satisfying. Definitely. Okay, I just got a pretty decent roll here. I'm going to run with uh, the Midnight Coup Attrition Orbs because that's going to drop more Orbs of Power. Yo, Ellie, 50 clear? Let's go, baby. Hey, good job. Let's go. GG. GG on that, man. Let's go. That's what I love to hear. Again, more dubs. Everyone's winning today. Oh, that's your first legendary clear too, Ellie? If so, even all the more better. Mm -hmm. All the more better. All right, y'all ready? Not just yet. Okay, no problem. Take your time. This time we're not rushing. Sure. We, we're good here. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm switching out to that. Throw this in the vault. Okay, I am ready. I have seven and a half thousand. Okay. Drop. Wonderful. I have 2556, so I'm going to save course. here. I'm not I have 10,000. So. Oh, actually, I was. <laughs> Nice. Tell me where to spend it. Uh, spend it on a turret. Turret would be perfect. Yep. Get Did gold. It. Get gold turret, and then we are actually that's a four-man team now. Mm -hmm. nice. And then what we can do is we can heal. We can heal Shax by throwing the ball at his feet on this hand mm -hmm. side, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll use my resources and grab the final one if I can. Okay, if perfect. We stay, stay close to the gold. Uh, turret, it will uh, give us orbs. Yes, even I better too. Oh, 
It's fine, no worries, no worries. Every time. <laughs> not a problem, not a problem. Got your back. We have one sneaky one in base. And also anytime we see anytime we see like batteries that are way too far and they're too risky, don't bother. Yep. Just play for your life. Just play for your life instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got the first two of that little the splinters? Thing where you shoot them. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I've got the first two for me. Done. Okay, they're coming our way, but uh I've got the G out here to cover that. Okay, I'm out of ammo here. I'm gonna back away just a little bit. I'm running off here. I'll play closer to you guys, that way I'm not gonna be bombarded. Someone on base behind us here. Grabbing, I'm gonna grab heavy ammo, I'm pretty low. You got 13 yep. seconds on the clock. To get it too. Okay. Got a barrier coming up. Excellent. Oh, not in pocket, but that. Satisfying, isn't it? We got shielded sky bomber. Okay. Mm. You can probably use this little side passage to get to him with a less risk. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me try and play a little bit conservative since one of us is down. I don't want us to both die here. Yeah. We have some time here. Grabbing battery first to heal. Out for David, quick. Oh my gosh, almost died there. Good call out, but I just got blown up. Just right, got hit by the uh, the high monsters there. And they're mixing up the, the suiciders together with the ogres. That's just evil. Got yeah. super in the choke. Got you cover the spot. Nice. Nice. So, well done. Thank you for that super. Yeah, no worries. I'm blind from behind. I'm playing on the choke here. And then I'm trying to. We really to need to go for that sky bomber, though. Yep, I'm on him. Yeah, he's got us down to half. Yep, I'm on I'll him right now. I'll hold the choke. Okay. Supreme. No, I'm not going for the fall. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to use as much of my GL as possible here. Very nice. Good stuff, Gramps. Excellent. Coming back to base. So we're just under half. This should put us back in a good spot, I would hope. I still have almost 6,000. Do you want me to buy anything? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, maybe we can grab... Yeah, let's grab this decoy. Let's upgrade this one, yeah. Perfect. That yeah. way we can cover the right-hand side and we have less stress to think about on that, on that end. I'm going to go up to my secret spot. I'm going to take care of these ads. Blinding them. Yeah, they're all coming from where I'm from, so... Mm -hmm. Not to kill myself along the way. There's one coming your way. I'm gonna grab this battery. Thank you. Going blinding grenade. I've got super now just in case. One guy on base, blinding him. Well done. One guy on base again. Oops. Yeah, turret got him. Nice, excellent stuff, turret. Having batteries here. 
Oh. It's fine. Popping super here just in case. Play it safe. Get a free res if you need to. I'm restable now. Okay. Gotcha. Perfect. We got a barrier. Okay. I'm gonna heal the. I'm gonna heal base here. Nice. I'm gonna grab battery. Just cover me. Let's go. Work. Good job. Execute Grabbing a heavy ammo here. I'm really Make low, sure so. Yep. When the dust okay. Yo, Dagger, good to see you. How are you? How was work? Okay, I'll, I'll go with you uh, to here and on the left. Yeah, Dagger's in the YouTube chat. <laughs> Surprisingly. Usually Dagger is with us in the kick chat. He's like me, he migrates. Ooh, okay, I just got lasered. I'm gonna okay. play it safe then? Yeah, play it safe, play it safe. I tried to take care of the second one while you covered the first, but I just got focus heavily there. Okay, I'll back away here, backing away. Covering the small ads on the other side. Okay, now I'm back. Okay, well done. Okay, running through, going blinding. Going blind again. Going for the home run. Oh. Nice. There you go. Okay. Alright, same spot, which is good. Spawned us in the wrong place. Of course. So, I have 4k. So, someone can upgrade I here. Hear. I have, I have, I have four seven. Days. Okay, you go last then. Yeah, I go last, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. There we go. There you go. Alright, we have to play super safe though. We're about maybe 35, 40%. So if we can just grab as many batteries, just give me the call and I'll run. Sounds good. I'm gonna play a different angle here. Cover the ground. Yeah, they're all coming from choke. Pull them all up. A few batteries in front of you guys. You guys can grab that if you want. Yeah, I've got this part over here. I should be alright. Alright, capping zone. Okay, good. Perfect, perfect. Yep. What a great, great spawn there. There you go. Witches are coming. Yep. I'll cover one witch. Good spring. Okay. Hopefully you drop an orb. I would love that right now. Or battery, sorry, I should Ooh. say. Uh, yeah, I'm supering these witches. Okay, Can fine. you help me over here? Because I'm getting pushed. Yep, yeah, got you. I'm coming through. I'm kind of covering the back end. Picking up battery to reset here. Okay, grabbing batteries. You can get the res if you need to. Ooh. I messed that up. It's okay. I'm spawning. No problem. Okay. Grabbing bats. Got your res. Barrier. Done. Nice. Grabbing heavies here. Oh, oh, Alright, keep him on that. Yep, good. Just keep him on that area. Don't even let him come anywhere near the base. Just keep shooting him. I'll try and cover the small guys. 
if possible. Okay, there's two batteries here. I'm gonna try. Oh, okay. I can't get close to that. Yeah, Just don't try to fight flight. Yeah, don't don't res me. Don't res me. Don't res. Don't even risk it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm back in 13. As long as they keep the little guys off, baby, you ought to be okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I wish I had a super here. Same with me. Same with you me. You need a well? Well, oh, would I no. Meant to damage with untaking yeah. heavy. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to do some damage here. Taking heavy as well. Okay, go for it. Trying to lure him away. Yeah, I'm gonna blind him. A little bit left. We got this. And we are good. Nice. Excellent. All right, we get let's refresh here. Lord Chef, save us. Yeah, absolutely. I'm leaving this here for someone who can dupe. Uh, I just used mine, so... I did it. Go for it. I did it. Nice. Good. Very good. Okay, and this is... All right, boss time. Perfect. So after this, we just reset, right? Okay. Uh, no, it's 40. Not yeah, but uh, the the ADU resets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So as long as we beat the boss here, we should be all right. Yep. I'm trying to get some progress on the weapon missions. How far have you gone so far? And let me go. Uh, let me swap off to Malfeasance again. Doomed. Okay. Uh, before we start, I'm just going to go and get some water. Yeah, please. This would be a good chance to take a little bit of a breather. Mm -hmm. I might do the same. Yeah, yeah. Take a bit of a breather to relax a little bit. Let's see. So, three hunters, too. Yeah, I honestly, Ellie, I feel like hunters... And this is not my bias. This is just based on perspective and observation. But I do think hunters do really well in, in onslaught because we have such versatile builds that can really get the job done most notably with you know the strand with moth keeper strand or in your case with the void builds being able to just vacuum all the enemies together and group them is really really good hunter's best class confirmed <laughs> Hunters are, is, is are... it possible... Is it possible to replace somebody in Legend? It is. It is possible. Oh, no. After this... Or even before, if we find somebody, you might need to replace me. Because it's getting real late. And as much as I would like to go with y'all, I'm gonna have to get off soon. Ooh, okay. That, that one hurts. Because we've come this far together, man. We're at 40. We're just at the, the final lap. Yeah, I know it's the last, the last run, but it is getting real late. I okay. get it. Yeah, I totally understand. Is anyone out there willing to to come through then? To take Tahirin's spot because Tahirin Tahirin did an amazing job, came through and and made some clutch moves for us, got us to forty. So, if there's one out there who can get us the final ten. Me and Gramps can still cover our own here. We're doing pretty good. Jay? Jay is screaming, me! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, then come through. Come through. And we'll we'll let Cake take a breather. All right, you got someone? Yeah, I think Jay's going to come through. All right, well... I will... I'll probably go ahead and jump out and let him do boss wave with you so he can get this this set of chests and the next set. Okay. Yeah, no problem then. 
No problem. Hey, thanks for the run. Absolutely. It's been yeah, super it's, fun. It has been awesome. Yes. I hope I can come another time and we can get all the way to 50 together. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. At least this time we don't have to do any breakneck or lightfall stuff. That kind of killed some time, but next time we'll have the yeah. full the full stream to actually do it, so for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure. Likewise, likewise. It has been indeed. I'll likewise. Talk to you guys later. You too. Me too. Good night. Much love, brother. Take it easy. Good night. Sleep well. All right. So, Jay, if you want to come through, I can invite you. I know even Gagman put his hands up. <laughs> so, it's a... It's a 50-50 here. But, um... I hate picking. I hate choosing like this. I don't have a poll. But Jay did, Jay did scream first. At least from what I saw. So I'll, I'll give Jay the chance. If one thing I will say, Jay, please don't put the well on top of the pillar like last time. Hmm? If there's one thing I will what? call out. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed when it was me, Jay, and Jack, and Jay put the well on top of the pillar during a boss battle. And Jack called him out. I was like, oh, that wasn't a good play because I wasn't in the well and I couldn't really... I couldn't really take advantage of it. Yeah, just don't do that. If you can just keep the well on the floor for all of us, or whatever you're running, if you can just keep it on the floor so that me and Gramps can do our job, that'd be great. Because now we, we can't afford to make too many trolley decisions. Huh? I think it was one of our runs. I Because Jack, Jack mentioned yesterday that you, you did a... You're Hunter now? Well, as long as you run Hunter well. Because uh, I remember it. You, you put the pillow down. You put the... You want him to run Hunter well? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I hope you can. <laughs> I hope you can run Hunter. <laughs> what happened was that I didn't place my well. That was... That's what happened. Oh, is that what happened? To the tormentor. Yeah, I mean, it's on the video footage. Yeah, because uh, yeah, Jack called it out and he's like, oh, great way to place your pillar. I and then never I... mess up. I never mess up with the one lock. <laughs> I'm going to play Hunter just because you said that. Oh, no. <laughs> but oh, I'm no. good with Hunter, too, though. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. I have a... We need a Hunter anyways. Because yeah. um, I think it was Ellie that was there. Who was the hunter that day? The Void Hunter. That was very useful. That was yeah. Ellie, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'll be the Void Hunter today. Yeah, absolutely. Great. No problem. Because I think in this last phase, tethering would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. The, tethering uh, is awesome. All the enemies. And, yeah, you know. The good, the good stuff. Yeah, the good Just stuff. Just a bit of advice, though, um, uh, to new, mm -hmm. uh, try to let the enemies get into the uh, to the tether, because that yeah. way Jay can get uh, another orbs. tether faster. Yeah, orbs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in this case, for example, I shouldn't I shouldn't super then. I should just let them tether and then. Yeah, but... Just uh, do good placement. It's okay, yeah. I'll do good placement. Mm -hmm. so, so we need to let the enemies come into the tether and not kill them before they get into the tether. Okay. You see what I mean? Right, right, right. So wait till they get tethered, then throw out my staff. Yes. Yes. Excellent. When you see like an X on the screen, basically, you, you'll know they're getting tethered. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this moment, what I'll do then is I'll wait until you pop the tether. So you make the first call out, and the moment I hear tether and I see it, then I'll pop my super. Yeah. Just like, just, can you just give me two minutes, so? Yeah, yeah, of course. 
Sure, no problem. Yeah, we have plenty of time here. Yeah, I left. I left my red Just, team. just move. <laughs> Just move a little bit now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not making that mistake again. I'll yeah, be in the that's corner. My raid team. I was like, they need one. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Jay's always. I'm, I'm trying to get that. You know, the round fifty on legendary. Hmm. That is fine. Legend. What was the furthest you guys got today then? This? this is it. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is. Oh, this is it. Yeah, yep. this is it. What, what Forty. Are we at? Forty. Yeah. Oh damn. Okay. So no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No pressure now. Just getting ready for that one sec. Yeah, yeah. Because we we climbed. We were, for a moment, we were like a man. Are we moving forward, man? You know, like, I was thinking, man, like, what's going on? Like, we were playing so well. We had 17 on our first run, and then we mm -hmm. just hit, like, a low. And then at some yeah. point, at some point, I guess, I don't know, something just triggered inside all of us, and we just exploded. And then we all just cooked to 40. Yeah, but we have had some really good luck with not getting those uh, invisible uh, uh, fallen enemies right. as well this yeah. one yes absolutely very very true that is perhaps one of the biggest reasons why we didn't get a chance to go as far as we did because we kept rolling on the bad dice for those teleporting mm -hmm. fallen yeah but now we should be all right well we're much better off now that we have tether exactly 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 so now we should be all right, man. This is this is boss phase, so all we have to do is beat this boss, which shouldn't be that difficult. Jay's Jay's been through this scenario well, with me. Well, it's still going to be difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just hopefully not we can't as. Just relax, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, we can't relax now. Now is not a time to be too relaxed. We have to be locked in it. So. Uh, yeah. 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 We can't be too autopilot. And yeah, very, very true, Ellie. Yeah, just like Graham said, just making sure that Tether sucks them in, and then once they're sucked in, then I can just give them the the, the nice staff of, of death. Yeah, we should be all right. Like I said, me and Gramps, we've been doing a pretty swell job thus far. Callouts have been superb, and that that I think is what really got us far. Because really, when I think about it, looking back in the early phase. We were, def we were definitely more relaxed, I think, um, mm -hmm. when we hit the wave 17. And then as we started to kind of teeter off into the, the low points, I think that's when we all transformed and realized, okay, you know what, let's just do a lot more comms. And since then, we just... The stock market just blew up. <laughs> In my defense, I, I made this build today. I had no defense at all. You played good defense, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best. You played really good defense. So, so it, it's taken a bit to learn how to play it correctly. Hey, you know what? In spite of that, you still brought us to 40. So you should give yourself more credit. Uh, well, I didn't. We did. True. All of us. Yes, all of us. We definitely played well together. The coordination was very, very on point there. Yep, calm stonks through the roof. Yeah, we we had much better comms toward the end, and that that right there is what I think solidified our run. All right, I'm ready. Ready? Yeah. Would you yeah. just uh, turn on push to speak in the game, please? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Perfect. All right. So, as yeah, once you're ready, Jay, just let me know. I'm, ready. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap my flag too. And if you're all ready, come to the left. Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right. Okay. This is eyeball. So, whenever you're, whenever you're ready, there, brother. Throw the tether in. Okay. Perfect. Doing super. 
Excellent. Going back here. This is actually a good one for us because this boss is stationary, so we can actually just focus it. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's true. Just check our sides here so we don't get blind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got. Ooh. Yeah, someone threw a snowball at me. Okay, I'm gonna cover our side here. Get rid of some of these ads. Just so gonna throw a blinding over there just to distract them a little bit. Pulling in reinforcements. On the thing. There we go. Perfect. Okay, they're all blind on, on the left. Okay. Excellent. We're gonna super. Okay. Excellent there job. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Blended. You'd love to see it. Very good job. Very, very good. Yeah, great call there on, on the hunter there, uh, Jay. This might yeah, be... Yeah, I was like, there's hunters needed. Yeah, that was an excellent call there. We appreciate that. Yep. Yeah. I was getting tired of Warlock, you know? <laughs> Switch it up. <laughs> see? And I'm playing Titan. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. Okay, let me just remove this. I'll be right in a second. Um, that's a good build you have. Yeah, it is. Firefly opening shot. Okay, I might keep that and see what happens. All right. Ready? Yep. Ready. Okay. I've got 33.30, so... I got 48.30. Okay, so I don't know if I'm able to really upgrade anything. Where is this? The ADU? <laughs> Over uh, there? Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know why they keep spawning. This happened to me in J2 yesterday, right? Yeah, it's happened to me too before. Yeah. Oh, we have nothing here. Okay. Um, it is fully I reset. Upgrade that to level two. Okay, I'll get a turret then, just to play it safe. I'll play one right here. And um, what? Why is it empty here? That's strange. Yeah, I have no idea. But we did play this side, right? Mhm. Mm I think we must have. I feel like we did. Okay. Facing super here. Let me look at it. Swap off. Mm. Uh oh. No. Not good. Not good. I was swapping off two, which is actually a close call. Nice. Come in. Oof. Well, that was super clutch, guys. Holy moly. What a clutch play. Amazing. Okay, you got some cover at Pyramid. I'll be over here. Okay. If there's a bat, just try and cover me. Throw the bat back to base and I'll try and... Pass it back. Yeah, I need heavy, so I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, I need to. Okay. Watch out for fireballs. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and grab these uh, batteries here. Uh, you want to do throw, 
class ability? Throw. Ooh, I'm getting smacked here. Damn. Nice, very nice. The clutch oh, is a clutch. Unstoppable over here. Okay, coming over here. I'm gonna stun him. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Guy bombers. Okay, I'm gonna try and cover the one on. Yep, with one near base, I'm gonna try and cover him. We got a screaver. We got an ogre. And the ogres. Okay, I've got my super. Popping super now on base. Yep. Ogre's covered. Perfect. Yeah, I bomb remark. What? Nice. Gone. Very, very nice. Starting to speak Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just got sniped in the back. Should be an ogre on the right. Ooh, this is okay. You got this. Oh, oh. no, nope. we don't. <laughs> Damn. Well, forty-three. It. That's oh, or forty-two. That's mm -hmm. not bad though. Yeah, forty-two is insane for us. Yeah. Really, really good. I can't even complain with that, to be honest. Absolutely. Yeah, that was really, really good stuff for us. Mm -hmm. That's that's the biggest, very, very the most good. we've gotten for everything we've done thus far. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm not even complaining. And also, coming through in clutch, Jay, appreciate you, man. I feel like I screwed it up. Fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't you, because at that moment, I died... I got sniped in the back because I thought I killed all the ogres on the right. So I went back to help you. And then as yeah, I came back, yeah, there was one yeah. ogre left that I just didn't kill. And I thought I killed it. And then that's the one moment I got popped in the back. And then as I died, then you died, tried to coming back, try coming back to me, right? So yep. that was an unfortunate yeah. one. Yeah, there, was, there was no one at fault there. It was literally, we all made the best plays that we could. And we did good. Yeah. We did really good. Yeah, yeah, that was honestly not a big deal. So, let's see. Um, do you still have time there, Gramps, or no? No, not really. Okay, no worries. We can uh, always run so it back tomorrow then. No, yeah, I actually can't. Okay. Sorry. I'm working nights the rest of the week. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess and the following actually week? Monday and Tuesday as well. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. We have maintenance stop on the factory. I see. Okay. So then the next time you can likely do it is probably next next week. Well, it's always later next week true so maybe like the thursday or the friday probably for you yeah mm -hmm. excuse me okay i guess that works yeah that's fine i'm totally down with that mm -hmm. nevertheless i gotta say to all of us excellent excellent performance we yeah. got this far like i yeah. said i can't complain with that in the end i think mm -hmm. that we in spite of all the odds against us we came as far as we could and yeah, we, we definitely popped off there, so. Yeah, we did good. Yeah, pats <laughs> on the back for that one. That was really well done. And then Jay coming through clutch with the, the tether there to beat the boss was <clears> really good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So don't feel guilty, Jay. I wish we could have, I wish we could have got 50. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me too, hey. but hey, there's always next time. Exactly. And this, this is a testament that we can do it because remember mm -hmm. from the beginning of the stream we had 17 and then we had a completely abysmal performance couldn't even reach yeah, we past had four a, a couple of meltdown rounds really yeah <laughs> like we literally melted down 
and we couldn't even get past even the lowest of waves and then we just again we turned it on something shifted and we got all the way to 42 so that just is a testament to our our ability to do it it's just mm -hmm. you know we can't control every oh, outcome yeah. so mm -hmm. Is that, and so is this build you had really good for, like, healing? Yep. It, it's, it's, uh, it's made on for... Every heal, on every kill you get healing? Uh, well, you have the um, uh, Banner of War. Yeah. Which pulses healing to yeah. everyone close to you. And then you have, uh, you can also proc restoration to you and everyone yeah, around is, you this is what i was this is what i was talking about uh yesterday yeah actually Traffic yeah banner of war would be good yep yeah, yeah uh, actually jay brought up an excellent thing yesterday that was what he mentioned actually oh yeah, I, I saw a bunch of people talking about this build too i was gonna hmm. do the same one right right yeah so in the end it still works so then you know the grams yeah Telepathically took That's your idea. Crazy it's, it's, crazy. <laughs> it's crazy though how the Titan is better at healing mm -hmm. right now with the Banner of War. Yeah, <laughs> Which is crazy. Something like that for Warlock. Once you get it up to times four, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, you're like, on, yeah, you're like unstoppable. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, let's just I go. I did want to try, like, you know, like uh, people are. Um, what's the Stronghold Exotic? I want to try that one. Cause that one they fixed it so like when you block with the sword mm -hmm. you you can take like block every type of damage basically so i want to try that too oh see how that works so you you basically like become like the aggro you know mm -hmm. yeah man that would be a good time to test out i mean we can even try it uh perhaps tomorrow if you wanted because again i'm running onslaught all week so tomorrow, if you want to come back again, Jay, and try it, we can do Legend again. Because from here on out, I'm just going to run Legend. I'm not going to run normal anymore. I think we're all confident enough yeah, to run Legend. Feel, yeah, we got to feel a Legend. Yeah, like, as long as we just maintain the same strategies we did today, and our confidence is the same, which I think it will only get higher, uh, I think we'll be fine. So... Yeah, if you can come tomorrow, and then I guess if Dagger wants to come through tomorrow, Ellie or, or Gegman tomorrow just to fill the spot, or even Blick, whoever comes through. Because I, I, I have no doubt I will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So you're playing vicariously. Do you want to see this build completely? Mm -hmm. Second, yeah. So what are your mods focusing on? Like getting your melee back quickly? Um well yeah. Yes. Mostly it's for uh, focusing the weapon with uh with the strand weapon surge. But uh you want to use the I won't have rookies out there knowing the basics. The melee. So you're using, uh, you're using like heavy-handed. Uh -huh, like, yeah. On. Yeah. It's for it to get I the wasn't super really back. Watching, so what, does this build make a lot of orbs too? No, I don't think it does really. No. No, that's a bit of a weakness, I guess. So do you think? Do you think it'd be better to replace hands-on with dynamo? will help get the super back faster if you if use your class awesome. ability a lot yeah yeah i i very yeah. rarely use the no. class ability on the titan though yeah i probably should use it a lot more <laughs> yeah what are you using the where are the aspects what do you see when the, you look the uh, cities of Mars? No, if you're I using the, the other one, if you change it up, like the one... But I don't think it's useful for this build though, so I think you're good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try making that build too. It's the one I was gonna do too. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, be that's... fair, I I haven't made this build. Yeah. I've copied it. Where did you copy it from? Which from uh, um, Plunder That Booty. Uh, what was his name again? Plunder That Booty. Can you just message to me on Discord so I, I can just see? It. I'm just gonna check it out later. Yep, sure. Uh, the sharing, the I've sharing. I've seen on my feed, I've seen on my feed a bunch of different builds that came up, but like one of the only builds that I used for YouTube was this Hunter build I have right now. Mm -hmm. So like, the way it's set up, like, if, if I use it properly, everyone should be blinded all the time. Cause the, right. um, oh, what's the gun? This gun. Wave splitter. When you pick up, uh, it suppresses enemies too. Mm. Collecting an orb of power periodically grants max power and it uh, sustained fire suppresses targets. So it's it's kind of just like the tether except with orbs, you know? Yeah. And then Orpheus Rig, everyone knows about that. Of course, of course. Yeah, bring it out then, bring it out. And you know, let's let's try and cook with it. Tomorrow when we uh, run it again. Well, no. uh, I'll put a link in Destiny to build. All right. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just change my color of this gun real fast. There you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down for whatever recipes you guys have to cook because as long as it as long as it uh yeah as long as it brings us the opportunity to just deal with ads and deal with things like tormentors we should be all right but i think strategy wise i think we have the idea down and this is why i felt today was the the perfect chance to just really hone in on one map just mastering one map very carefully and just knowing our scrap currency rather than jumping back and forth. Because I think that's also another thing I realized was we jumped back and forth between Midtown and Bostock and then that kind of threw off mm -hmm. our, our flow. But then... Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. And so the moment I realized that, I said, okay, you know what? Let's just focus on, on Midtown. And from there, we just, again, we zoomed up because then we knew, okay, we cover this decoy. We get this decoy on the right-hand side to max. And then we just focus on the right-hand side later on or left-hand side. And just knowing the placements was the vital aspect of the the gameplay i think mm. yeah and midtown we know where like all the ad bombs are and everything exactly yeah. exactly in my opinion boss stock is just like you know like midtown like they all the ads usually come through one hallway so you just have to focus on one but like in boss stock sometimes you'll get swarmed from like all directions you know mm -hmm. Yeah, but in in Midtown, there's only really two hallways, no matter yeah. where you are. So and they're they're all on. choke points, uh, yeah, exactly. as well. Good for tether and grenades and all. Yeah. yeah, yeah, grenade launchers or just jolting everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I seen, yeah. I seen this warlock too. I was playing with him, and he had like this crazy suspending build. I was like, yo, I need to copy that. Mm -hmm. Like he was like as a warlock just suspending like crazy because I guess he was getting his grenades back so he was just like shackling all the enemies. And then me and my buddy were using stasis builds so we were just like, he was getting most of the kills though but we were like freezing and then he would mm -hmm. come in with like a super, uh, the shackle mm -hmm. and then they would just die right away, you know? Right. Yeah, I'm excited to try more just to see how our synergy works out. Because it really comes down to team I, synergy. I watched that video too with the guy who did the solo run. He used the... Uh, for the boss DPS, he used uh, the... The yeah. one I was like, mm -hmm. bro, are you serious? I feel yep. like he was trolling. But like, <laughs> damn. You know, because nobody uses that weapon. There's always value in everything, right? Like one person's junk could be another person's treasure. Right. 
right. Yeah. Yeah, some people are just, some people like using like the off metal weapons. Myself included. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. I love, I love pushing the boundaries of what can be utilized because it might not work in one situation, but then there's one specific like scenario. How far you can go with it, yeah. Yeah. Because there's always, there's always a use for something. It's just you have to find where that use is. And then once you find it, then that weapon becomes that much more profound. But of course, you know, in other oh, scenarios, yeah. you, you, you got kicked. Yeah. That's fine. This this is where we end yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is where we're all going to take a break because I'm, I'm going to dip out as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. This is a, a good time for everyone right. to just take our breathers. We'll come back again fresh tomorrow. And Jay, you're down, right? Awesome. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, we'll we'll try and run some again tomorrow. And then of course, like I said, next week will be perfect too, since there's another reset for new weapons. So every more incentive to come back and farm for I'm hoping Luna's Howl. Please be Luna's Howl next week. What is it? Is, is that even a weapon or no? Yeah, it's the hand a cannon. Weapon, yeah. It it's a hand cannon. There's, so there's two hand cannons there. Yep. And like, who, and, okay. uh, mm hmm Alright, yeah. anyways, GG's guys. GG's. Yep, GG's. Have a good one. Alright. So folks, we are we are done here. We're gonna call it a day. We had a good run today, like I said. In spite of the odds, we got really close to the end. We got to 42. So for me, that's a dub. We went from again, went from a struggle all the way up to 42 and so i think if we had started a little bit earlier we would have been able to get it but it's totally fine okay so it's the week after that gig okay that's totally fine i mean i can still wait i can farm for hammerhead next week then whatever the case is but yes ellie definitely a good showing all in run absolutely good learning process and again, shout out to you, Ellie, for doing it. Your first legendary clear. That's very nice. I'm very happy to hear that. All of us are really working towards our goals. And I think this is, again, this is why I love Onslaught. Because it's really a mode where it's teaching us. It's teaching us new ways to play the game. It's it's taking us outside of our comfort zones to experiment and just try and see what's, what's working. You know, I've... Yeah, a lot of teamwork, exactly. And one thing it's teaching us is, uh, yeah, teamwork, communication, uh, organization, I think, is the most important thing. Like, the problem solving, making sure that we have our currency organized, making sure that we, you know, whoever has the most currency has to be the one to invest first. Like, there's really, like, a lineup of different things you have to always be mindful of. And so, yeah. It's definitely a learning process, but it's teaching me as well. You know, I've tested several builds uh, off stream. Because I like to test things off stream just because I want to get a feel for it before I go on stream and do too many things. And so far, again, this has been my most consistent overall. And perhaps tomorrow I'll try. Maybe I'll, I'll try the uh, Shinobu's Vow and see how it fares but this so far just consistent blinding for me i think is what's really important is slowing down enemies with blind taking care of them with with bolt shot and just being able to speed up the process and grab orbs for my team or batteries with amplified and speed boosting is just so effective so i think i'll keep this and if worse comes to worse i'll, I'll swap off but again What's working is working. Now it just requires a little bit more foundation and refining. And thank you, Dagger, for sharing the build in Discord. Love to see it. And yeah, Dagger, if you are here tomorrow and you want to run with us, uh, by all means. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, this this right here is really the carrier, the carrier of this build. Gathering Storm is really good for just keeping ads off the base and 
it's great for boss boss engagements because I don't have to commit. I can just throw it right in front of the enemy's brain and just impale it, and we're just getting free damage. So this right here is fantastic. Arc staff isn't too bad, but Gathering Storm is just all around just phenomenal. It's too good. It's so good. And yeah, dagger, please. So if anything, uh, if you come through whenever you, you know, whenever you arrive on stream, uh, hopefully. We're not doing a run by then, but if, if we are doing a run and somebody decides to, to cop out or hop out rather, then by all means just jump in. So not to stress about that. So yeah, all that being said, folks, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to grab myself some lunch. It's been about five hours now for me, so I'm going to call it, get some rest, come back for the end of the week, and we'll do some more legendary onslaught together. Thank you again for tuning in. Appreciate everyone for stopping by. You all make the stream that much better. And I love the good vibes as always. Positivity everywhere. So as I say always, new warriors, stay strong. Keep fighting. And may the force be with you all. Always. Love all of you. Take care. Rest up. We'll be back again tomorrow for some more legend onslaught runs. Okay? Have a good one. Peace. Much love.